What is up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline Live, episode 78. Yes, guys, 78. Uh, it's going to be a, a fun dynamic tonight. We do have a smaller panel, and look who comes to surprise us. I thought Lane wasn't going to be here. He said he, he may arrive late, if not at all, and Lane comes to our rescue. Lane, I was just starting to well, say we have a smaller panel tonight. We still do, but Lane, it's great to have your presence well, here, my friend. Well, the collecting madness makes up like he's a two for one special. It's him and, and his split personality. And the how you figure man is always here to be able to debate for two instead That's of true. just one. That's so, true. Um, yep. So I'm here today. I apologize for being a little late. The reason I'm here. You're actually right, right on time, Lane. Yeah, You're I was right about to say, time. right when you that, started. Like, literally, the reason I'm here on time is to my boss actually let me leave an hour early nice from work and said let me put in my regular time i was gonna say can i take an hour of pto and he's like uh just put yourself in we're slow today so just put your stuff in but i do got to make an announcement it has already been it. sent to connor and to the our winner but yeah oh yeah guys we fought you know i finally crawled out of bed lane's like hey man we should probably uh pick the winner for like statue i think now. two weeks late or something like that for yeah so this. i'm a little late doing it but yes guys for those of you who entered the uh the giveaway that we did for the hunter statue courtesy of our friend lane here yomo was our winner and yomo has claimed his prize so a uh, big congratulations to yomo and a huge thank you once again to lane for being so generous and, and giving us that prize to yomo it is on the way he has been sent the tracking number and nice. it is I got by being able to be there, getting there earlier as I was able to. It is getting on the truck today and should be to him by Friday. Wow, look at that. That's that's fast, man. Well, hey. And don't and don't worry, I send you Connor exactly how much it costs. <laughs> oh, great. I can't wait to see. I know. See, that's it. what he was waiting on. That's what he was excited for. Yeah, everybody. I can't wait. Can't because wait. He, he he's just like, you know, I, I'm spending all this money on this figure, but I got just this overflow that needs to grow wings and fly away. Yeah, like this wallet. Iron Man sitting here with me. Uh, yeah, well, yes, Chez, we did a do a giveaway of... not long ago. And don't worry, Chez, if you missed this one, there's going to be other giveaways. We always have something up our sleeve. I think, you know, at one point we'll just give away uh, Chris's entire collection. He's got plenty of figures yeah, back uh, there. So No, no, no. Well, yeah, see, the, the problem thing. is if it, he's got plenty of championship belts. He's, you know, he can't defend them all. So, you know, we'll just give away a couple of those. Except, yeah, that's like, true. Big Dog Pound will probably win all of them. <laughs> He's about to hit you with the uh, the Darth the Kenobi Darth Vader base. But anyways, guys. Well, he's showing off the Kenobi Darth Vader base. That's not fair. Oh, he's got the yeah. He's got the whole figure. He's ready to go. He did a review on it. Uh, I don't have mine yet, but I'll, I'll get it eventually. But anyways, guys, uh, let's get started. First, I want to say what's up to everybody on the panel. Of course, we have Chris, the collecting madness here. Chris, thank you so much for being here, my friend. Uh, like Lane said, not only Chris. But Jim Bob. <laughs> yeah, and uh, guys, no belt tonight because Chris just got a fresh tattoo, so he doesn't yeah, want to get on anything. There. So we don't want to make him climb up. So big doll pound when you get in here, my friend, we'll give you a grand entrance, but we can't bring out the belt tonight. I'll get um, the small one. Maybe, yeah, that's, there you go. We'll take the small one. Uh, but Chris, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, a second time on the channel, Justin from How You Figure. Justin, how you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for coming on. Like I said earlier, like. You know, the panel was looking real slim uh, as, as the time was progressing, as we were about to start the stream. And I was thinking to myself, like, I'm so glad that Justin agreed to this earlier. So he can't say no now. Now I've got him here. Uh, but no, <laughs> for real, I appreciate you, man. And uh, I really yeah. wanted to have you on because I know there's a lot of stuff from this week that interests you, especially mm -hmm. that Paul Atreides. I cannot wait to talk about that with you guys. I'm very, very excited. Just saw Dune 2. Uh, this past Friday in the IMAX, and I was absolutely blown away. It was really one of those movies, you know, sometimes people are, like, so, like, hype drunk, they kind of overhype it. Mm -hmm. Not Dune 2. Not Dune 2, yeah. so. Uh, at least that's my opinion. But, dude, it's so so great to have you here, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts, because I did briefly watch uh, the little stream you did with um, with Steve, but I didn't get to finish it, so I, I really don't know everything that you're going to say about this stuff, so I'm interested to hear your thoughts on everything. Yeah, no, I appreciate you having me on, man. Yeah, we just, there's so much to talk about that, you know, you can just talk about it for weeks, man. Cause there's last week was such a big yeah. week of just and all third kinds of party stuff. today, dude. What the heck? Like yeah. just out of nowhere, all this third party stuff just came out of nowhere, you know? And we're going to talk about that too, but yeah, great to have you here. And then lane, you know, we got your introduction. Perfect timing. Like I said, it was really right when we just started. So we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for uh, making it on time with us tonight, guys. This is going to be our panel for tonight. 
going to be uh, nice, so we'll get some more interaction with the chat tonight because we don't have as many panel members. So looking forward to that. With that being said, uh, let's say what's up to everybody in the chat, and then we'll get started. Uh, Ian, my friend, you know, Ian, every single time I post something, you're on there supporting me. So it's always great to see you. Uh, a lot of you guys are, but Ian, I just see you pop up every single time. So I, I appreciate you as always. And Ian showing love to our Paul Atreides. Ian says, Paul is a thing of beauty. Yes, he is. That figure is absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait. I've been like chomping at the bits to share my thoughts on a stream uh, with you guys and, and to kind of hear your guys' thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun topic for sure when we get to it. We're not going to start with it tonight because we got some really exciting stuff from Hot Toys to talk about as well. Uh, but definitely going to uh, take a look at that uh, later in the stream. Um, we got TK592, one of our moderators in the Facebook group and in the Discord. TK says, hashtag free Andor. Well, hey, you know, it, you got to give it to him. He's been riding for Andor ever since we kind of, it kind of set in that nothing's happening from Andor figure-wise anytime soon. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit upset about that. I have a pretty complete Rogue One collection, and uh, Cassie and Andor is definitely a huge hole in that collection. So definitely very disappointed. And then Stellan... We all yeah. own phase, but like Andor is even more so. Like we've yeah. had a separate series for him, and we don't have right. Yeah, you, at the very least, bare minimum, you would have thought they'll do him and you know Stellan Skarsgård's character, which also was such a fantastic character. But nothing as of right now. So, and Tom Daly is also here. Tom Daly sharing the hashtag free Andor love with the uh, what is that? The Endgame Black Widow doing a, a nice little uh, front double bicep pose there. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for being here, Tom. Uh, so great to have you here. And I uh, can't wait to hear your thoughts on everything. Uh, let's see. We have Hobby Halbert in the chat, another great supporter of mine. Hobby Halbert says, hi, all. How you doing, Hobby? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, it's great to see you. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts on everything. We also have TX Boy in the chat. TX Boy says, yo, what's up, everyone? Good evening, fellow collectors. Good evening to you, TX Boy. Great to see you, as always. Always love to see you in the chat. I hope you're doing well, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to hear your thoughts, man. I'm just really excited to talk about this stuff this week. I really am. The Paul Atreides is especially is, is one that I've been uh, looking forward to for a while, so definitely a really exciting week for sure. Uh, one Adam12 is here, one of our channel members, a recent channel member. Uh, Adam, thank you so much, by the way, uh, for becoming a channel member. Uh, guys, as always, you don't have to. It's not required, but feel free to click that Join button. There also is a link in the description to become a Hotline Hero. The, there's a bunch of uh, goofy emojis that we made for you with all the different panel members, uh, and there's some custom ranks and everything and uh, some different perks. So if you want to join the channel, there's definitely uh, ways to do that down below. But thank you so much, Adam, for being here. I very much appreciate it, all the support. And yes, guys, if you haven't already, drop that like button. 23 people already, and we're just getting started. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, we also have Mary Sullivan. Mary Sullivan waving hello. Mary Sullivan, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It's great to see you. And uh, yeah, once again, I'm just really excited to talk figures with you guys tonight because that's my favorite thing to do every single week. And at this rate, uh, every single day because <laughs> it kind of trickles down everywhere, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, Payton, one of our moderators and also a channel member, a great supporter of mine and a great friend. Payton says, good evening, fellow collectors. Payton, great to see you, bro, as always. We call it, we call Payton the gift meister. So there's not a situation that Payton cannot gift. So just be prepared. You know, wh whether it's serious or not, he's going to have a gift for it. So, <laughs> uh, but Payton, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Chez says, I'm cheesed up. Thank you. <laughs> the profile picture. It almost looks like the dude from uh, uh, Home Improvement. Uh, I, forgot, I forgot his name. Not, not uh, Tim Allen's character. Oh, the Al. other guy is friend. Yeah. Yeah. Al. yeah. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Uh, and speak of the devil, Yomo, the giveaway winner is here. Yomo, what's up, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Once again, big congrats to you on the statue. Hope you enjoy it. You know, at the very least, if you're not a statue person, I think you could trade it for something really cool that you enjoy. Uh, and, and, and Lane and I are very happy uh, that someone we know won it. You know, sometimes, you know, people enter the giveaway. I haven't seen their face before, which is fine, but it's cool to see someone that's been supporting the channel for a long time win it. So uh, congrats on that, my friend. And thank you so much for being here. And uh, yes, Chez, you absolutely need to check out Dune. Absolutely. Chris, did you have something to say before I continue? That was for Peyton. Sorry. Oh, that was for Peyton. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, Graham, the Jedi's Night's Watch is here. What's up, everyone? Did anything drop yet? Not yet. Not yet. And guys, uh, speaking of the Jedi Night's Watch, um, I'm going to be on Wolfpack Wednesdays tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. EST. You know, I was waiting and waiting. I'm like, when is this guy going to invite me on his channel? And finally, of course, I'm just joking. But finally, 
uh, I'm making my way over to Wolfpack Wednesday. So I'll be an honorary Wolfpack men member for one night. Uh, so guys, definitely check us out tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. EST. You, even you if I'm not winning. there. Even if I'm not there, check him you, out. You guys. are you positively a liking. I'll take it. Hey, <laughs> hey, Lane, I'll take it. <laughs> we will take it. We will take it. Uh, Jordan Skinner is here. So great to see you, Jordan. Jordan's a good friend and a, a great supporter of the channel, as always. Jordan, thank you so much for being here. Jordan, she has schooled me many times on uh, all things uh, Joker here, not just in art, but everything. And, and and she helped me out a lot with getting this head sculpt uh, and getting me into the rooted game when it comes to the in art Joker. So, so great to have you here, Jordan. I uh, hope you're doing well. I see we have Beskar Kid in the chat as well. What's up, Beskar? I don't know if I missed another message from me or his first uh, message you sent, but great to see you, bro. I hope you're doing hey, well. Beskar, Thanks so much for being here. here. All the goats in here tonight. We also have Brick Artemis. Brick Artemis says hello all. Uh, Brick, I, I did start to watch the Lego segment you did with Chris. I never finished it. I'm gonna, I plan on finishing it. It's kind of on my like to-do list, you know. It's kind of like, you know, Wolfpack Wednesdays. I always miss it live, but I always watch it on the way to work the next day. Graham probably doesn't know that because I never told him. But, um, yeah, uh, definitely got to finish that video. But uh, so great to have you here, guys. And, uh, of course, guys, check out Brick Artemis. He's got a great channel. He's also on Instagram as well. If you guys do Instagram um, and best guard kid as well. You guys know the drill. He's on everything at this point. Um, let's see who else we got. We have Ty in the chat. One of our great moderators here. Ty is in the chat. Ty, I hope you're doing well. So great to have you here. I know you're very excited about the Dune stuff, especially uh, and that Pennywise, you know, we did get that Pennywise pre-order finally. So we'll, we'll briefly talk about that later in the stream. I feel like we got to, right? Um, let's see. We also have big dog pound in the house. Now big dog pound. I, I did say, I did say, I don't know if you were here, if you heard it, Chris couldn't get out the big belt, but you know, because he's got a new tattoo, he didn't want to go up and grab it and hit his arm or anything, but he, he did do you one better and he got the micro belt out. So we'll give Chris the floor for you. Couldn't get the big belt, but what I did get was the smaller belt, but don't underestimate the smaller belt, no. It's just as big and as mighty. Because let me tell you something, brother. You come on this channel, be prepared to get lit up. Be prepared to get fired up. It's Hot Toys Hotline. We got some stuff to talk about. Woo! There you go. I was a little worried for a second. I feel like that belt, you know, he started to freeze up from all of the power from the micro belt. I was a little worried there. He wasn't going to get out the rest of it, but we did. We did, so... Uh, Big Dog Pound, so great to have you here as always, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Um, we also have Joshua Alvarez in the chat. Uh, Joshua says, I want my Vader to ship. Dude, I think a lot of people are right there with you. Um, it's one of those releases where I feel like basically everybody's been positive about it, which is a great thing to see because you don't always see that. Sometimes you have some like um, split decisions on things. Vader. Yeah, but that Vader is something special. Yeah, I don't have an get hand Vader yet, with a six-scale Tie Advanced Vader Starfighter. That would even be better. That I would buy, Lane. That I would buy. The Tie Advance is one of my favorite vehicles. So that I, I would. It is definitely going to be hard to beat, bro. Like for yeah. figure of the year, at least. Like it yeah, is I, I, that good. I, you know, MYC, they do sometimes those like kind of miniatures and stuff that they've done of some of the different vehicles, like they do the AT AT. Yeah. The one I want to see them do, like if any ship that I would maybe like try and get, if they did the old video game Tie Defender. That'd be cool, yeah. Like one of those for the Spanish. Because I used to own the miniatures from X-Wing. And I That's own like cool. two yeah, or that... three of those. I it's love a... those. My favorite Starfighter. It's a very like uh, niche thing, but it would be cool. Yeah. Uh, me personally, like if I Tie had... Advance would be great. Tie Advance yeah. would be my first choice. That's my favorite. one of my favorite vehicles in Star Wars, Vader's Tie Advance. That'd be my first, but you never know. I think that one's yeah. within reason, at least size-wise. It's pretty big, but it's within reason, but... Uh, guys, with that being said, uh, if I miss any of you guys, I see X-Man Supreme in the chat as well. What's up, X-Man? X-Man's going to be coming on soon, guys. Um, I believe it was X-Man who reached out to me. I, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I believe I'm right. Uh, I said recently, guys, I would like to do at least one stream a month where we allow a viewer to come on, and X-Man was the first one to reach out to me. So uh, X-Man's going to be coming on uh, sometime this month, most likely, if we can work it out. Um, but yeah, X-Man, so great to have you here, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Um, but guys, we're going to get started. Uh, you guys already know. I mean, you had to have thought of me at least once, right, when you saw these announcements go up. Because you guys know, I I'm all in on the Ahsoka line. and Yeah, that was already confirmed when you said I, I asked the other you know, day. Like, so how many are you getting for these? And you look, just were like, Lane, you just had the emoji like Gary Oldman 
emoji all of them. Look, Lane, this line is just too good. I can't not get them all right now. This to me, this to me, like when I look at it, I'm like, this isn't like a Mando line where there's like a lot of filler pieces. This line has a lot of bangers. You know, you, you could argue like the Night Trooper is a bit filler. It's Even a trooper. Captain Nina to a certain extent, but but in comparison to that, in comparison to Mando, right? Yeah, like, way less of a filler a line for sure. Yeah. Um. And, and, you know, to round off this line, guys, what were the two figures that we've been asking about? Well, they're right in front of us. They were announced in the same day. We're talking about Ray Stevenson, Balin, right here in front of us, guys. You know, we, we had a feeling it was coming. You know, there was some, some conversations, not necessarily debates, but some people were like, you know, posing the question, like, because he's passed away recently, are we going to get a figure? And we had some positive signs in the right direction, right? Because Black Series, six inch scale, they did a, a uh, Ray Stevenson likeness uh, for this figure. Um, so that so that pointed in the right direction that, okay, you know, they've handled the licensing with the estate um, and, and we should be able to get this figure in. And here it is, guys. And I think it looks fantastic. Now, I, I will, I'll drop this point in uh, for Mike because Mike mm -hmm. couldn't be here today, Thrawn's office, which is what we're calling him now. Um, he, he made a point about, you know, they, they could add a little bit more like uh, salt and pepper, if you will, to the hair and the beard to kind of break up that like monotony of the all white. And I, I do see what he's saying about that. They could kind of change that up just a little bit just to, to kind of put it up you know, a, a notch further. Uh, for me personally, if, if this is what we receive, though, in hand, I'd be totally stoked. You know, I, I think the most telling thing for this likeness here, and, you know, I kind of want to have an open discussion with the chat and everybody on the panel here, are the eyes on this one. I think the eyes say a lot. And, and you know, right or wrong, if, if you get the eyes wrong, it could really throw off a likeness. You could be like, oh, well, I can almost see him. You know, here, Ray Stevenson had that very, like, signature, like, poise to him playing this character. He had that look in his eyes the whole time where you're like, what is this guy about to do? And, and you know, it's it's crazy when an actor can speak so much without actually speaking too much. You know what I mean? Like with with just their movements and their facial expressions, um, and I think they absolutely nailed it. And you know, in the past we've seen Hot Toys, they they've been good with beards, and then in some instances they haven't been good with beards. Perfect example: a figure that I love. I actually have two of them: um, the Obi Wan Deluxe from Revenge of the Sith. The beard isn't perfect on that one. It's not bad. I think that sculpt is really nice, but the beard's not perfect. Um, ben Kenobi, however, though, that one's just a, a total knockout of the park. That's like one of the best sculpts I've ever done, in my opinion. Um, but with this one, guys, I'm, I'm happy to say personally, I think they've done such a fantastic job in terms of, of the likeness and, and really doing Ray Stevenson justice, you know. It's such an unfortunate thing that, you know, this is really probably all we'll have of this character because of the timing. Um, but definitely, definitely really hyped about this one. And Yomo over here dropping the love, man. I appreciate you. So guys, let me, let me pause what I'm doing. Um, cause Yomo, you, you know, come on, man. Yomo, you're too kind, my friend with the $5 super chat. Uh, Yomo says, thank you guys for the great content and the giveaway. I'm extremely grateful. Yomo, I'll say this, man. You've been supporting me basically since the beginning, since I first started. So I, I really have you to thank. Uh, because, you know, I know everybody says it and it's kind of repetitive, but of course, you know, we couldn't do this without you guys. You know, there's 32 people watching us right now. Without you guys watching us, this live stream is nothing. Without you guys watching my videos that I upload, there's nothing there, you know? So I appreciate you, my friend. Like I said, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm very happy that you won it because, again, I know you've just been supporting me from the beginning. Uh, so thank you so much, and I very much appreciate that. And, and on top of that, Yomo uh, gifted us uh, a Hot Toys Hotline membership. So one of you guys just became a Hotline hero. I'm not sure who it was. It looks like maybe it was Boba Fettuccini. Uh, Boba Fettuccini. May am I wrong? Was it Boba Fettuccini? Is that who got it? I think so. I think so. Correct me no, if I'm I think wrong. It was, I think it was Big Dog Pound. Was it Big Dog? Big Dog Pound. Bro, this guy. It's like a oh, meme God. with Big Dog Pound. This guy is—he is the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Big Dog Pound. There are two, Big there are two other Pound. guys. Woo! I, whenever the, there's single songwriter, whenever I do, like I've done on like Aries Stream for one of his membership giveaways, like six of the last eight times I ever did it. Single song writer. I'm like scanning to see if single song writer. Yeah, you're like, let me guess, it was him. It is. It's yeah, big Doll Pound's the same way, dude. He's yeah. the lucky. Hey, big Doll Pound, congratulations. And Yomo, once again, 
Thank you so much, my friend. The the generosity yeah. is very much appreciated. That's yeah. that big dog my, pound. You're my, on a streak, my, man. Yeah, man. You are on a streak. Uh, th th there's another guy on another friend of mine's channel who does things. He gives away a lot of PlayStation Network cards and stuff. And there's one guy called Gamoya Lives or something. This guy, it's called the Gamoya Effect at this point. Because that guy, like, seven of the last nine times when they do the giveaways, he wins it. Like, they're just certain people who got this aura or they got the algorithm of the YouTube stream. The big dog pounder, okay, undefeated. Really, not said it like that. He is but undefeated. Big dog pound is one, one of my giveaways. Like, got that. Well, congrats, big dog pound. We got some comments piling up. I feel like I got to read them now, yeah. right? We're, we're we're already in the chat. But Yomo, once again, my friend, thank you so much. I, I very much appreciate it. And congrats, to big dog pound. Um, I, I love these comments. I'm talking about. Oh, and and there you go, Chris. There's a, a wrestling reference for you in in regard to the like button there. Like Cody Rhodes smack. I did see that. I'm not a big wrestling guy anymore. I used to when I was a kid, but I did see that clip and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, Tom says day one pre-order. Absolutely. Absolutely. I already, guys, these are available through Sideshow. Um, you know, we always support off the racks when we can. So guys, links in the description off the racks. If you want to pre-order Balin or Shin, they are available right now. Uh, it's, I think it's only a $15 deposit. And when you do the math, you're saving like almost 40 bucks when, it, when it's all said and done between taxes and shipping added on from Sideshow. The price with Off The Racks is out the door. What you see is what you pay. So no hidden fees or anything like that. So uh, yeah, re really great deals over there with John from Off The Racks. Um, let's see. TX Boy says, uh, still on the fence uh, on getting both of these. Want Hu Yang the most though. I'm glad to see a lot of people aren't forgetting about Hu Yang because that's one that's sitting in the back of my head right now. If I'm like, okay, I got pretty much all I wanted. Who else would I want to be satisfied? And to be fair, I would be satisfied right now just because Hot Toys really did so many. But if I had like a couple more wish figures, of course, it would be Ezra and Hu Yang. Um, I would like that Night Trooper with that like zombified helmet. I, I hope that's why they haven't announced it because they're they're working on that because it needs that. If they announce it with that, that's going to be a huge miss. And I, I would pursue a, a custom helmet for sure. Um, but yeah, I totally get it. And yes, very well said. Uh, th this line is <laughs> going to ruin collectors. I know it's ruining me. I know Steve's in on it. I know a lot of people are in on this line. Uh, it's hard to say no, because like Lane and I were saying, this is not a filler line by any means. There are really a lot of main characters and or very important or very well-loved side characters like Balin and Shin. So it's a, it's a pretty big line. Uh, one Six Star Wars Pimpazoid is here. One Six Star Wars Pimpazoid says, Day one pre-ordered, got $50 off Balin and 40 off Shin with my Sideshow Awards. That's huge. Congrats on that. It's a great deal. You can't you can't say no to a deal. You can't. And guys, keep an eye on your awards points on Sideshow because some of them do expire now. I have some expiring, I think, on the 24th. So I'm locked and loaded. I got like 150 or something right now. And I got more about to mature before then. So I'm going to get something. I'm going to get something. Yeah, I got 300 waiting to be spent. Yeah, so we're going to have to let it rock soon. We got to, man. And I, yeah, it's going to have to happen soon. Like before the 24th, I'm going to spend mine. Uh, Adam says, uh, I was first day one pre-order on both Balin and Shin. These are bangers. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, we talk about the day one pre-order and stuff and you know, when you should do it. Sometimes it just comes out of pure excitement, right, guys? I don't know about you guys, but for me, like, you know, with Off the Racks, it's different, though, because he has limited quantities because, you know, comic shops in the past, like, six to eight months have been more limited on what they can get. So so when it comes to that, I do day one pre-order a lot of stuff that I really want. And, of course, other things where I'm like, you know, I'll wait and see. I don't pre-order. But, uh, yeah, it just depends. And, you know, with Sideshow, you have at least six months to wait it out and, you know, decide what you want to do. But it all depends on where you buy from. Uh, Julio is here. Julio says, how's everyone been? It's been a minute. Hope all is well. Julio, it's great to see you, my friend. And yes, it has. Um, I hope you're doing well. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's great to see you. And I see Equan in the chat. And Equan, thank you so much for correcting me. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. But now that I think about it, I'm like, yeah, Boba Fettuccini got it last time. So he's, he's lucky as well. And I see Joe P in the chat. Everybody's popping in tonight. Joe P asks us, and this is a good question, guys. You know, we're just hanging out right now. Joe P says, what up, collectors? Are people getting figures in? I can't get an invoice for C-3PO Padme or Super Battle Droid to save my life. I think my Super Battle Droids, I was telling Chris, I believe I got those from Comic Concept, so I, I don't think I'll get a, a, an invoice anytime soon for those. Uh, C-3PO, I think I have payments left on them. Padme just showed up at the end of last week. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My girl, Natalie Portman, I'm like, please don't do her wrong, and they didn't. She's beautiful. They did such a great job on her, and if you guys don't have her in hand yet and you're going to get her, I think you'll be very pleased. I think you'll be very, very pleased. Um, 
but guys, uh, you know, let's ju- let's jump over to you, Chris. Um, I-, I know again, like a lot of us have had these characters in mind from the show. We're like, okay, they're doing a lot of good stuff, but where's Balin and Shin? Where's Balin and Shin? What's everybody saying? Are they even going to do Balin and Shin? I love the fact, Chris, that Hot Toys said, we know that these are going to be a great seller as a pair. Let's drop them at the same time. Chris, are you getting Balin and Shannon? What are your thoughts? Of course, we're starting off with Ray Stevenson here, Balin, and we're going to jump over to Shin very shortly. But what are your thoughts when you see this uh, prototype here of, uh, of Balin? Uh, I think it's absolutely beautiful, both of them. Like, I mean, obviously, I, I preferred one over the other, but I'm not going to get one over the I have to have them both. Right. They're a pair. They were also the most interesting characters to me in Ahsoka, besides Aiden the Goat, because that's what I was, you know, <laughs> watching for. But <laughs> um, And Ahsoka, obviously. Yeah. But no, these two just, in tri- like my perspective, they brought a different feel, kind of, kept you on your toes wondering what the background was where he came from all all that different stuff how how those two came together like just so many things that went behind them that i really think they nailed uh in the show and left that mystery or mystique to them so and the lightsabers are different yeah you so know it's not that full crimson red or whatever yeah his lightsaber is inspired orange. by that classic star wars poster with darth vader and he's holding this hilt that doesn't look like his his actual hilt that made it into the films his many different hilts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah it's really cool that they kind of went back to that classic design motif with this it's 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 dope man i totally agree yeah. it's really it's really unique and, and something i didn't mention chris and maybe you could touch on is the material choice yeah. And not only that, that subtle hint of green and gold with that ring is just, it's beautiful. Such beautiful costume design, and, and it's so menacing in such a subtle way, in my opinion. Dude, I, I think he was a fantastic actor, and I think it's a shame that he unfortunately had to pass and it cut this role of him short. That's very, very unfortunate, and I'm glad we get to have some representation of him on the show for the work that he did in the show. Um the other thing I want to say is I don't know if anybody else feel this way. I feel like he had the he brought the more like wise older position. Obviously not just look wise, but in his mind the way he spoke carried himself as if he was like a Qui Gon or something. You could tell he had a lot of knowledge. And yeah. then you bring in Shin, Shin, who's like this young, like hot head kind of roadster which what it would be obi-wan but obi-wan seemed wiser for his age no, shin very much Anakin, like loose cannon yeah shin very much didn't know her place and they showed us that towards the end where you know you know when her and balin go our separate ways you see her it's like a pivotal moment for that character where she's like okay this is my path i could feel this, this is my path and i like what you said about balin too you know he he very much spoke to very factually, you know, when he's talking about the Jedi, what was he lying, you know, about the things he was saying cool. about you know, what went down with Order 66 and everything? He wasn't, you know. But again, I, I agree, he had a lot of like mysteriousness behind him. And like, we're like, I want to know more. It's kind of like, you know, when, when we first saw Baby Yoda to an mm-hmm. extent, it was a lot of mysteriousness and wh- where is this creature from? But it's like, you know, the same with this character. He did such a good job at putting on that that face where you're like, what, what is this guy, you know, wh- where is he from? What, what is his motive? What is he here for? And, and you know, right. we kind of see it start to come to fruition towards the end. And again, unfortunately, I don't know what, what more else we'll see of that, uh, yeah. if anything. But And as uh, my final thoughts here, just touching soul basically on the figure, I think they did an amazing sculpt work, like with all the texture and the hair and the beard. Like Hot Toys is really nailing it. And the, the bagginess in his eyes here and that glaring look and the eyeball rolling function that always helps like and then the last thing i'll say because i'll leave some other stuff for other people is the lightsaber you like lighting up i know they're not the brightest things in the world but when you have them in the display and now that they're fluently coming with these jedi and sith when you can have them lit up in the display i think it it may not be the brightest thing but it does elevate your display and i've really loved having a couple of them in the display yeah off. yeah i saw a lot of people saying that the one with vader and i you know i saw it in your yeah, video for as some well reason i don't know brighter, if it's it his lightsaber is bigger or what but yeah it's brighter so i mean maybe well i guess we'll have to see the following release that has usb sabers if if that's the same across the board because you know sometimes hot toys isn't very consistent with stuff like that 
um, kind of like their material usage as well. But, uh, you know, we'll wait and see. Quick, though, of course, you know, we have Jeremy Casa from Plastic Hero. Well, Jeremy, you told me when I bought the Tron, Tron light cycle from you that I was number one again. And now before it shows up to me, when I can't return it, you're telling me that I'm no longer number one. Dude, like, yeah. yeah, you know, guys, we're anyways, if you want to check out Jeremy Casa from Plastic Hero Collectibles, links in the description mm -hmm. as always. Yeah. Um, he, the dude just constantly changes his mind. I go, I go from number one to number three. It's it's just totally, it's unfair, you know? It's just That's just what it is. It's unfair. Um, Big Doll Pound says uh, he pre-ordered Shin uh, and, and Balin next week. Yeah, absolutely, dude. That, you know, like I said, you know, depending on who you pre-order from, you have, you have the ability to pace yourself out like that, especially if, if you have rewards through Sideshow or any other places. Um, you can definitely uh, pace it out that way as well so you can kind of save as much money as possible, you know? Um, and by the way, congrats, Jack, uh, on the, uh, the Tarkin Invader 2 pack. You, you can't quite see them, but they are behind me. Love that set. And that Vader, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, the Vader that comes with that set is different than the single release of New Hope Vader that came out years ago. It's, it's an improved version of it, actually, by a lot. Significantly improved. So that's a, a very special Vader exclusive to that 2 pack. So congrats on that. Um, let's see. <laughs> X-Man says, as a swag enthusiast, I approve of the bait. Absolutely, dude. And the belt buckle, too. I love it. It's definitely a nice little hit of color amongst all that, like, the darker grays and everything. Um, but well said, Chris. Definitely well said. Uh, Miami Nemesis is here. What's up, Miami? I hope you're doing well. Uh, but jumping over to you, Justin, I know you're really excited for these as well. How crazy is this that, that not only we have Balin, but we have Shin, too? A double announcement. This is great, man. I mean, uh, just a you know, we, we talked about earlier when I was on uh, Steve, a.k.a. Sneaker, uh, that we talked about that as well. Like, we felt like it was going to be all or nothing with these two characters. And I don't know if that was really true, but we always had a feeling, especially he did, of they were going to be released at the same time. And I feel like if you watch the show, it made total sense why they dropped them at the same time. And the, the thing I think about this whole line, man, is that it's like a statement line from Hot Toys in a way. I feel like they're like, we got this license. Like, we're going to just show what we're doing with it. I mean, every single one. I think this line is so good that people that didn't like the show are now pretending that they've liked it all along. <laughs> they're like, yeah, man, Ahsoka from day one. I've loved, you know, that's how good it is. And I think yeah. that uh, I, I've rewatched a little bit of it just to watch uh, Balin's performance a little bit and just speaking on Ray Stevenson, I think that you said it, Connor, with the uh, with the eyes, man. I think that he did such a good job as an actor with his eyes, and that if you if you rewatch the show, like Chris was saying, there's like this great, there's like this wise like patience to him, and there was this aura and mystery about him, and it's and we've everybody said it, man. But the way that the cliffhanger with his character, him going on like his own like journey or something, yeah. like almost like a vision quest type of deal. Uh, it's a yeah. shame that we're not going to see Ray Stevenson go through that. You know, I'm sure they're going to recast the role potentially, but he just did such a great job and he showed you how you can play that character without overplaying it in like this big right. yelling and screaming. And even when know. he was fighting Ahsoka, it's like he wasn't even yes. phased by it. He's like, this is just a, a slight hiccup in my, my greater purpose, you know? And I, I dude, yeah. It's, it's yeah. And, and the, and I said, and you know, I've said the, the the cool contrast with these two characters is like it's almost like the, uh, you know, the the shield and the dagger type of thing. They're fighting styles, and I think that this figure with the stature of his figure, the the yeah. the wideness of the shoulders, um, just everything about it almost looks like an old medieval knight type of thing. Uh, yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, the yeah, costume design in the show is incredible. The costume design on these two characters were my favorite of the show. And with, along with Sabine, these were the two that I really wanted from the line. Like, those are the three characters I wanted the most. And all three of those look like are going to be absolutely just incredible. So, yeah. I mean, look at that aging around the eyes. man. Like, that to me is really what sticks out, like you said. And there's a picture where he's got the hood on as well. That's and a great just, look, too. Dude, it's so good, man. And, and it really just focuses in on what I think the strength of the figure is along with the costume. Yeah, yeah right dude. there. It's so Because that's good, like, man. you know, when we saw the original trailer, I believe he was wearing that hood, if I remember correctly. I think that was part. And I think that actually, you know, 
that might be the look I go with. I really like the clothes. That's what I'm thinking too, Connor, because the thing with uh, like the first episode, like that's how he's introduced. It's like, he's coming off the ship and like they introduce him and, and just that little two minute scene tells you a lot about those two characters, just with their movements, their physicality. And that's what I'm going to miss about Ray Stevenson, man. If you've seen some of his other movies, even in the comedy, the, uh, the other guys or whatever, he plays kind of like a crooked FBI agent that like the way he, he, he just takes small roles and makes them memorable and this wasn't a small role by any means, but like Chris was saying, like these are two, like this was arguably probably the strong, the best character in the show, uh, just in terms of like, we wanted to know more about him. We wanted to discover more and we wanted to see more of that performance. So uh, yeah. to be able to live, to have it live on a little bit in figure form is exciting for, for fans. So uh, yeah, I think it looks beautiful. Can't wait to get it. Well said, dude. Very well said. And I love the breakdown and real quick. Um, Steve, you know, evil sneaker. Steve's over here saying, what a panel. Watch out, guys. Your leader will try to get you to buy figures you have an interest in. You know, Steve, I'm not at all telling you that you need the OG comic-inspired Iron Man to go with your comic-inspired Spotty. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not at all saying that. So I don't know where you got that idea from, dude, but this Bro, figure, man, whatever. Who are you telling? I got a whole Hulk and a DeLorean because of him. Yeah, uh, this isn't true. Justin, have I... Have I convince you to buy anything i will say just in my short time knowing connor I, he sends me a lot of pictures on like Insta- like showing like look what just got released dude but there's never been that push See? of like you got to get this figure but i think i can sense that connor <laughs> might do it eventually but not Probably. yet man so i gotta i'll have your back he's connor, rolling so in, yeah, that's he's what i'm in. saying he's, get, he's he's building my trust up a little right. bit he, now he's he, gonna start he's hitting waiting, me with he's gonna he's waiting for the big thing like that in art figure so exactly he's been like 500 bucks on <laughs> I, I don't think he needs my convincing on that one i didn't say thing i said the in art figure down the road that he might be like yeah, yeah, yeah and he's just like yeah it'll be something like that for sure it'll be like you know, a six hundred dollar deluxe figure. He's Who said like, that you would bro, destroy the Sith, not bro. join them? Yeah, and you're just gonna be all like, I don't know if I want to spend. By the way, what's up, Clinton? Figure, what's up, but... Clinton? I hope you're doing well. I'm being torn apart. <laughs> you're breaking my heart. <laughs> uh, yeah, X Men says Balin and Shin have the best wardrobe in the series. Uh, <laughs> he said, and now you pitch this. Year. I gotta come on now. That's, you know, I grew up watching Billy Mays, dude. That's the ultimate pitch right there. I got to put the product in front of you. I will say that was expert product placement, Connor. Like you were like, Thank you. you know, speaking of what he was saying, oh, this old thing, just right. this Iron oh, Man this, right here, uh, link in bio. Last week, right? Yeah, I got the yeah, link. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, planting seed. Exactly. You got to start small, man. I can't just be like, hey, Almost Justin, welcome to the I crew, love man. I like to lay the thing for like the $400 figure. That, 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 yeah. That oh, yeah. For the transport to for now on sale for like 100 right, i will plus. say lane you know? is very good at putting his boundaries up where he's like i'm gonna buy what i want to buy so i can't really get lane too much on things in fact lane will randomly convince himself to buy something where i'm like what when did you decide to buy that lane like uh what did you what did you decide to pre-order the other day from ahsoka lane i can't remember recently uh, merrick you you decided to pre-order merrick no i didn't, no, I didn't get merrick. oh you didn't actually go through that okay because i remember i remember at one point you're like i think i'm gonna get merrick and i'm like you just said you weren't getting it lane so i feel like lane at least does a good job he puts the wall up you know chris i've got something sitting here for him that he's gonna buy from me eventually it's just sitting in my room waiting for him dude and he it, just wouldn't it, sell me the one the thing. stuff sells to... itself yeah you couldn't get the you couldn't get the animated fat or the the Jin Erso, dude i couldn't give him up yeah dude. i know i couldn't get those from him you know the actual stuff i would go like you want to sell me your figure now? Why did I sound like Count Chocula there? <laughs> that, that is pretty close to Count Chocula. Um, X Man Supreme says, "Oh man, don't make re- me relive the end of the Anakin Obi Wan fight." Gets me all, dude. It ne- it never uh, ceases to get you emotional because that's like that's such a turning point for can my favorite that, character. Can, can we get that Obi Wan as well? Let's get that. Obi-Wan oh, I know now, Steve's but... like screaming from the rafters right now, dude. I want an I... episode two rooted hair Obi Wan. That's what I want, dude. I was just and I'm not trying to shout out Steve again, but I was just talking to Steve about. I said I need mullet Obi Wan, man. Like I need that. I have uh, to, dude. With all that's these episode perfect. two figures coming, I am the sideshow one, and I'm like, no. Hot toys will do it. Yeah. <laughs> At no, this point, yeah. you, you're going to take your Padawan Obi Wan and like it exactly that's i think at least at the very least yeah we'll probably get that obi-wan from uh the phantom menace fingers crossed as long yeah, as they sure. they actually you know make those figures uh pretty Come substantially on, yeah i know <laughs> like, like, i know that, that, unfortunately we still are left even when we go like 
coming out this year, we're still with Hot Toys that are still kind of left going. If they do this, because at the end of the day, half the time we're like, oh. I know, right? Yes, Billy Mays. Billy Mays here with the awesome auger. I loved Billy Mays, dude. Rest in peace, man. No one's done, you know, even the the uh, the dude with the flex seal. He's not, the, he's good. He's very good, but he, it's not Billy Mays. It's not Billy Mays. Jesus, X-Man. Holy crap. Dude, about that, the mullet? that about the... secure scene was pretty brutal. <laughs> no, no, um, no, but I know that's not why he's making the joke there. Uh, Lane, Lane, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna oh, reel back in, Lane. I got, I got the perfect picture pulled up for you, Lane, because we've got Ahsoka the White facing off with Balin, and we were just talking about this, Justin. Yeah. Look how calm he looks in this fight. That's basically how he looked in the show, right? I mean, he was just not yeah. phased at all by by this fight, you know. He's the perfect uh, yeah. great Jedi, Jedi is dark sider ish kind of guy, where he's like in the middle, kind of where he's not, he's not serene like the Jedi are supposed yeah. to be is passionate but he also like is not being like you know the emperor after luke rejects him where his rage and anger just consumes him so much he's not paying attention to what's going around him uh right. he's got he's using both kind of he's keeping his balance by using his emotions though to try and overpower ahsoka which is i still don't quite understand why she wasn't able to finally trash him in the show because she got her balance basically in the force, but hey, they want a season two. So, you know, That's he says that interesting line. That. Well, yeah. And he says that interesting line to her. He says, you can't defeat me or something in that last battle. And then like that ship, you know, I think it was Hugh Ang or whatever, like come by and like shoot and like the battle ends or whatever. Yeah. But I've yeah, always but was I'm... interested in that line. Like there might've been something more to that maybe in season yeah. two that they were planning on or something. I, I know the problem is he's not named freaking Darth Vader. That's like one of the only guys in the galaxy who she can't carve up. Right. There's their plot armor here a little bit. I'm not going yeah. to let, let them get away with that kind of. There is some plot armor here because from what we've seen her do, she should carve up. If I understood why, but once she, after the flashback, I'm not saying she would have killed him, but she should have beaten him. Like that should, but that, that, then what do you do? You get Kylo Ren, and then what do you do kind of? So I understand why he didn't lose to her. But. Jordan, I know, I know. I'm still deciding, Jordan. I'll probably hit you up soon but about it. But that doesn't take good. away from this figure at all. Lane, you leave Lane, Matt are you getting Balin? Hmm? <laughs> are what? you getting Balin, uh, Lane? Uh, I'm probably going to get him. My my problem is that there's one more figure that I want more than Balin or Shin or anybody. I want Ezra Bridger because I want my brother. Yeah. Son. That's, that's the one. I know everybody really wanted these, but... If I could not get these and I could get Ezra, I would take Ezra in a second. You know what I foresee with that Ezra Bridger lane? I think if Hot Toys if announces that this... Ezra Bridger, someone is going to make a custom outfit for it and start selling them, and everybody's going to convert them over to that like orange top with yeah, his rebels brownish like pants. Like, right. Yeah, I think that, a lot of people are going to do the conversion because yeah. it's like he has that kind of nomad look in the show, obviously, because he's been trapped on the planet forever, for uh, like however long he was years. there. Yeah. yeah so it, I, I still have hope that they'll probably announce that because it's not a very complicated costume design by any means. It's really, they just yeah. got to get the sculpt down. But, but Ezra's go, the but... one I want. He's like, he would, he would probably have been my last one if he had come out just because that's what I wanted to collect from the line. But I love how this, this Balin and this Shin, like they, the, the only thing is I keep wanting to call her Lana, but Nico, not Shin Hottie because <laughs> she literally looks like the video game character. Lana Benico, except she's not a Sith Lord like Lana. Yeah, um, how, but the how armor, good the though does that is armor look? Exactly man. the same. Yeah, I love the armor, the painting, the paint apps and stuff there. With some of the, I mean, we see that about all hot toys. Hot toys has this down to a science at this point for being able to make something look dirty. Yeah. But I like, really like the sculpted hair on her with this. And one thing I do like with the shorter hair. It, it, it means that, you know, it's not going to impact trying to turn the head or something. And like it's probably, Lane, it's it. probably like all the sculpted hair they've done recently that's longer. It's been like a very flexible plastic. So we're not going to get like a Qui-Gon Jin V2 where, yeah. you know, you can't turn the head but 25 degrees. But with side, her, but... you don't have to do like what they did with uh, Wanda from 
uh, Multiverse of Madness where you have to take off pieces and like literally. Yeah, no, 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 no. And I mean, just look, um, you know, guys, you know, we're kind of cool. having an open discussion about this one, but just look how good they look together. They're just we're they also got the height difference and everything, too. We're, yeah. we're also used to seeing male like Padawans, like with their Jedi braid. I think it's very cool how they interpreted it for a female on this show. Like yeah. she's got longer hair, but you still have her like Padawan braid. And look at the weathering on the armor and everything. It just looks really good, yeah. man. And I like that. I really like for both of them, the color combinations they give to both of them because yeah, in just the storytelling with the outfits for them, as you can see kind of Jedi-esque things with some of the roving and stuff, especially on Balin, but even on Shin here a little bit. But with the armor piece and everything, you also get the dark side influence, like where you can feel they're almost on the razor's edge of either way, where they could go mm-hmm. one way light side, and then it would be just like, you know, full Jedi rope, or they could go completely dark, not Sith Lord, but, you know, dark, dark Jedi, dark side completely, and just be like maybe more armored out and stuff. Like more like a Mandalorian or something like that would be. Yeah, as possibly. A more dark side person. Yeah. Uh Clinton has a question for us. Clinton says if they recast Balin for season two, would they give us a new mm. figure? It's tough to say. I, I would venture to say probably just because they make figures of everything, but you know, that's you know, that's so far out. I don't even want to think about it because it's still like fresh in my mind that, you know, Ray Stevens and Reese pa- recently passed away. That's like who do you who do you choose to follow up Ray Stevenson? You know, it's, who would it's want so to tough. take the role too? I that mean, too, that, yeah, that too. too. You might have to get just some no name person who is just who might kill it or might not. But that that's why you know where we were saying like you know recast T'Challa back in the day for Black Panther. Right. The problem is you still got to get someone, especially for who played the character really well. Obviously, it's not, I'm not comparing Balin to T'Challa for how well known he became and stuff. But if someone nails a role, the expectation it'd be like you know, Tim, you, you had like Timothy Chamala did not come back in Dune three when you see him as Paul Atreides, and for whatever reason he couldn't do it or something, and you got to recast role because you got to have Paul Atreides in the movie. Like, could you imagine finding someone who's not a no name? Or leave, something to take the role. Yeah, Lee Schreiber right. was Sabretooth, right? That's Lee Schreiber. Yeah, yeah. In uh, X Men, that that's one X Men movie we'd like not to forget bad. about. Yeah, I did like him as Sabretooth, though. That's actually not a bad yeah. idea. Yeah, Beskar said the same thing. Lee Schreiber. He's got to be a big person. Similar be a big facial person. structure and head shape and kind of the style of beard and everything. I could see it. I could see it. Um, what what are we? Uh, everybody's mentioning Carson Tava. I really do like the character, and I like his uh, his flight suit that he has. Uh, Adam says, uh, how about a Carson Teva? So then Paul soon, uh, I don't want to butcher his last I'm name. Can L- unbox Hung Lee can uh, unbox his own figure on his channel. Uh, he's also a cool guy. Yeah, I've seen a lot of videos of him uh, recently, and he seems like a really nice guy and a very down-to-earth person. So that would be really cool. I'd be down for it. Yeah, there, there's totally a lot of, uh, you know, it, it, it's always hard for, um, you know, some of these, especially with kind of a defined characteristic by the actor performance, you know, where if it was like, I don't know, Shin Hadi, I could see if for some reason they maybe had to replace the actress to play her. I could see her being replaced maybe because we didn't get a whole lot of character arc being set for her yet. That's kind of almost what season two is. She was set on what is supposed to maybe be her journey kind of by the end of yeah. season one. So if for some reason she had to be replaced by someone I could see that, but Balin has a very clear defined arc in everything, mm-hmm. so he's harder to do. Uh, yeah, and I think that also ba- uh, Ray Stevenson's performance, like, I feel like there was a lot of him in that performance. Like, he added a lot of those things. Like his that nuances you, and stuff. That's, that, were, that was the word I was looking for. to him, yeah. yeah. His experience, stuff like that, really played into the character. Yeah, and Connor, this for me, man, this is my favorite pose of the pictures like that we see of yeah, shin yeah. like i just this is how i would kind of the probably look, pose man, my man it's so good like you said it's, it's great it's nice yeah just put some wiring in that please as we learn from i learned from padme please some wiring in that because that really makes a difference especially for kind of these cowls or hoods that you're trying to i haven't had an characters. issue with a lot of their hoods myself it's ma- mainly the the lower portion that doesn't have substantial enough wiring like the anakin hoods for all intents and purposes i think sit decent enough when yeah. you actually like sit down and futz with it um 
I think she or looks really good. Big, though. They're too big, like the Grand Inquisitor, and in his hood. Yeah, I don't, like I don't have that one in hand yet, but yeah. yeah, that that one just goes over like this and goes around, covers his entire to his yeah. uh, chest. I do like that she got a little pro. You said what? Wonder why that is. Don't listen. To him. <laughs> don't listen to him. Anyways, um, look at. Like, I like the I like little, little probe. Joy. I think that's yeah, pretty probe. cool that that include that she includes that. That was a nice little touch. I think she looks really good, guys. I mean, there's not much else to say. I saw a couple people, not many, a couple people were saying like they they didn't think that the nose was 100 percent correct. I, I don't see it. I think it looks great. Yeah. That's just me personally. Like I said, I'm on board with these 100. percent I've already pre-ordered them. This and, is yeah. definitely the entire line. Whatever we want to say of what characters they put out. Probably for the entire line for head sculpt, this is maybe the best head sculpt line. Yeah, because they've really the stepped people. their game up. They've hired some really good sculptors yeah. uh, like Yixi. They're utilizing her a lot more lately, and and you know Sideshow is as well, and she's just doing incredible. And work, the, and so. you know this could be where they're, they're being able to put the time into this a little bit more is because of the lack of content. Like to, like we don't have to worry about you know to another full Star Wars you know new Star Wars movie where we got to worry about ten figures and we've got you know, three Marvel movies that we may have to make at least three, design three or four figures for. They've been able to this line, put their time into the head skulls where, you know, maybe in like, if this came out in 2022 and they were doing it in 2023, they might've just been for like lesser known Star Wars characters like these two may not have got the full time and attention. So we would have been going, yeah, like, it's, it's Hey, that looks time. like Balin, but like the, the detail in the eyes was soft. If, yeah, and, you know, that yeah. takes away or something. Not sure. major things, but minor things where they look like they maybe could put in the time to really knock these out of the park, even for maybe kind of secondary Star Wars characters and the greater canon of things. Yeah, very you true. Know, that, it's, picture, it's, that picture on the left is my favorite, though. And that's, I, I love, you know, and I know people have mixed opinions on this, I think, but uh, the rolling eyeballs to me, this is why I like, like, to be able to have two different looks in the same character, like the one to the right and to the left, I like more of the left side look, but I like the option to kind of switch it up a little bit because she kind of showed yeah. that in both different things. So, but that left picture right there, I just, that's kind of, yeah, I mean, that just looks know, good. I say this all the time like the accessories, the hands, the rolling eyeball system, it, it, it means a lot to have, you know, different options because it really can change. Uh, how your your figure is displayed so much and you know at the end of the day we're all buying the same figure it's how you pose it how you customize it uh, and obviously part of that is due to the fact that hot toys is giving us the options to change it up like that so i totally agree it, it's it's such a great feature and i'm so glad that basically all figures now are getting as opposed to being like a dx only feature and i think hot toys probably realize you know when third party companies and stuff are doing it now they kind of have to make that a standard so uh and steve's full of crap we already know he's getting both of these so <laughs> uh you know you know what also stands out to me for these or would make me want to go is and this also for Steve, because I don't know if they'll think this way. But, like, we've gotten all these red, blue lightsabers, even, you know, red, but this would bring a different, one, a different color lightsaber to your display. But, two, we're used to seeing two Jedi, like Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, or Anakin, Obi-Wan, Clone Wars version, uh, Anakin, and Clone Wars Ahsoka. Like, you can pair those all day, but we haven't had Yes, we've had Palpatine, but he didn't come with the crimson red lightsaber. So you can't exactly put him with Vader or anything like that with a red light. So having these two with the same color, that's not completely a Jedi cut. I think that's that makes for a sick display as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, totally. I mean, and it's a nice breakup, like you said. It's a breakup of the norm that we see. Like, there's, and, and again, going back to the conversation we had about the uh, costume design, it's very unique. So definitely really cool. Really, really exciting, and it's so it's so awesome to see us finally get these and and get them both at the same time, no less. It's really dope. But um, we're gonna move on, guys, to uh, you know a topic that I know a lot of people are excited to talk about, um, and that's gonna be the in art Paul Atreides. Once again, guys, uh, if you, if you haven't already, if you haven't seen the first film, it's on Max. Go watch it, and then go out and see the second one while it's still in theaters. You have to. I'm, I'm telling you guys, if if you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, man, everybody's talking about Doom. Maybe I should check it out. And you like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, like those type of franchises. This franchise is definitely shaping up to to kind of get on the same level as those in terms of, you know, big franchise conversations that people have with, like, Harry Potter as well. Um, 
the second film was just incredible. No spoilers, of course, guys. Uh, let people see it and, and kind of experience everything for the first time. But if I wasn't already going to pick this one up, the second film just kind of you know put the nail in the coffin. Yep, this one's coming home. I was already going to get it because I really enjoyed the first film, and I'm a fan of Timothy Chalamet. But what a what a fantastic looking figure, guys. I really couldn't be more happy. Now, uh, for those of you guys that aren't aware, there is another version uh, from from the first movie uh, with the still suit here uh, on pre-order from Aug Toys. Uh, I do have a photo to share with you guys a bit later uh, after we, we get done talking about this this version here. But Aug Toys will be releasing theirs very soon. So that's going to kind of bring that to the forefront of the conversation of I could get this cheaper version right now as opposed to waiting for the in art versions to come out, it's going to change the conversation for some collectors. For me, you know, I'm a recent rooted hair convert, and seeing this figure here, guys, you know, it just looks beautiful. Um, I was I was a little worried that we couldn't put the little like uh, um, plug in his nose that kind of gives that uh, converts the moisture from his suit. I was worried that we weren't able to do that, and then they uploaded a photo showing, because I probably will display mine with that. I think it's just a really nice, unique uh, add-on to the look, um, and I think it looks really good. I'm wondering, I'm guessing it's just like the plug is roughly shaped like the inside of his nose, and then it kind of bends in so it could hook. Um, but I'm really glad to see that they uh, they were able to achieve that, because I think that looks awesome, and I love the, the, the breathing uh, apparatus here, kind of below his chin there. just adds a little extra depth to the costume design. Again, the rooted hair, I think, looks fantastic. They did such a good job on this one. I don't think we can can deny that. I think they did such a great job on the rooted hair. Um, I will say the sculpted hair as well, surprisingly, guys, I think is pretty nice. I don't know how you all feel about it, but I, you know, I've told you guys before, I got the in-art jokers in, uh, and when I first bought them, I got the sculpted versions, and, you know, that was back when I, you know, I wasn't really a fan of rooted hair because I hadn't experienced anything better than, like, what we got from Hot Toys originally, and, um, I didn't really like the sculpted hair, unfortunately, on the Jokers. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I thought it looked a little like chunky and a little fake. And um, I think this is probably the first one for me personally where I'm like, I think they did a pretty good job on the sculpted hair. Because uh, I think this looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the style they chose of the hair. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and for those of you who are curious, guys, uh, you can you basically get all of the same stuff between both versions. So whether you get the sculpted hair version or the premium rooted hair version, you get all of the same accessories. So uh, you're really not missing out on anything. If you're a fan of sculpted hair over rooted hair, you're not missing out on anything, which is good to see. There's no like paywall accessories in terms of being between the two different versions. Now, the one thing I will say, guys, which is very interesting about this one. So this is actually InArt's first worldwide licensed figure. Uh, so something unique came along with that, and, and that is uh, InArt uh, decided to throw in an exclusive accessory that you can only get if you purchase directly from Queen Studios. And that would be that little mouse that pops up in the sand dunes multiple times throughout the film. Um, it's funny because a lot of people who may haven't seen the film, they're probably like, oh, you know, what's, you know, who cares? It's just a mouse. But, you know, again, I won't ruin it for anybody, but watch the film. Um, you'll, you'll see the, the significance that that mouse has in terms of uh, the, the symbolism of, of, you know, being a, a resident of Arrakis as a whole. It, it's very much a lot of symbolism behind it. So it's not just a little mouse. Uh, there's some symbolism behind it. So I think that's pretty cool. A lot of people are like, that's wrong for them to kind of put an accessory behind a, a you know, have to get it from Queen Studios. And, you know, I, I can understand that argument. I typically buy all of my in-art figures from Kit. Uh, this one, because I'm a weirdo and I have to have a you know, special edition of everything, deluxe of everything, if I don't get an accessory, I feel like I missed out on something because I love accessories so much. I did get it from Queen Studios. I did pre-order the rooted version. Um, however, with that being said, guys, I do have a discount code for you. If you don't care about the mouse, you save yourself a little bit of money through 1-6 kit. Uh, I got a $10 uh, coupon code for you. So uh, the code is HTH Dune. Um, I believe InArt responded to somebody. These pre-orders, I think, are good until the mid uh, middle of April. That's the cutoff for these pre-orders. So definitely, uh, definitely keep that in your head. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to jump to you, Justin, because I know you've, you've had a lot to say about this one. I know you're really excited. Uh, I think you saw the second film before me, 
so I think you're very much locked and loaded on this one. Um, what are your thoughts, yeah. man? And what version are you going with? Um, the the mouse is a must have accessory for me, man. Like I I had to get that one. Deluxe uh, is the way to go, in my opinion, for this one. Um, this will be my first in art figure, so really excited just to have that. But uh, yeah, I I liked the first movie. I really liked it. In fact, it gets bet that one gets better as you watch it more. And so I was like, you kind of like the second one to me was it was just perfect marketing because the second one was just so good that. I immediately had to have I immediately had to have this. And again, I know this is from the first movie. And I don't know if you saw this dude, but there was like a uh somebody had posted something. I think it was maybe on Reddit I saw it, but they're think they commented back to somebody that was asking them to do like an upgraded kit to make it more Dune 2. Right. And they said, Yeah, we're seriously taking that into consideration. Maybe that's just something they say as a company, but yeah. that would be a really cool thing to uh to get that because there is a couple of things in the dune 2 uh movie that i would like to see on the character but regardless this this to me is uh this figure looks fantastic man i cannot wait to have it i think it's i, I think the costume design this world is so rich that we could and again i know in art takes a really long time but i'd love to see even a few more figures from this film and uh again if you haven't seen dune 2 yet try to see it in theaters i really think if you wait for it on max or t like you're not going to get the same effect the full and experience with the you're especially not, in imax with like the audio and everything like it's absolutely so worth it. the, the sound design and just everything it, it's just you, it's an experience it's like and we really got it you know for me it's like when we can get a movie that's that people are talking about that are excited about like that to me is like a really cool thing also for this figures because you got that hype around it. And, I, and I've been yeah. saying this for a while, like enjoy, even though this is going to be a long time to wait, enjoy that hype like you would a movie. Like you're really looking forward to a movie coming out, really looking forward to a figure. Enjoy the hype leading up to it. But uh, but yeah, my final thoughts on it, man, is like day one, like literally day one pre-order for me. I was refreshing the page, just wanting to get this pre-ordered. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I got the deluxe and, you know, I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, well said, dude. And I was I was right there with you. I was like refreshing, waiting for it to go up. Because I'm like, dude, I, I, I want to be one of the first ones to grab this from Queen Seals. And the off chance that, that my order gets fulfilled earlier, I just want it. You know, I don't want to wait. Because yeah, there's, guys, you know, the elephant in the room with Inart is right now, there's still a bit of a slowdown with manufacturing in terms of getting the figures out to customers. So you have to keep that in mind. And, you know, that's why I brought up the Aug Toys thing. And I do see another comment about Aug Toys. I will bring that up. And Clinton does make a good point. You know, Sideshow does the same thing with exclusives. You know, granted, with the Sideshow exclusives, those are also available in Hong Kong to those who live over there. So they're not exclusive to one place. But, it, yeah, it's a similar concept for sure. Um, Decked Out. What's up, by the way, Decked Out? Decked Out says, uh, bought the deluxe edition the day it launched. Can't wait for this figure. Me too. I I'm really, really excited for this one. Um, and, you know, looking at this photo here with the with the wiring and the cloak and everything. And, you know, we brought up, you know, people wanting the, the Dune 2 version. I, I might be in the minority. There is one thing in particular from Dune 2 that I would like over this one. And I think, Justin, you probably know what that is in terms yes. of the head sculpt. Right. But I think I prefer like the clean look here with this like kind of like blackish gray. You know, I, I kind of prefer that, you know, now if they did a Dune 2 set, would I buy it? Probably. Yeah, because that would be like the ultimate setup. But I think if anything, they would probably do another figure. I, I that's what I would rather have. I'd rather have. That's why I think people want just that. And again, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, so I won't right. say anything. But I, me and you are if on you've the same seen it, page. Yeah, if you've seen it, we yeah. know what people want most from the second film. And yeah, it's one of the most iconic things in the film, you know? That's why people for want sure. it. But yeah, I think I'd rather have, instead of them doing another figure, because they would look really similar. I'd There's a couple of characters in the second one that I would love to see uh, figures for. So hopefully, you know, again, I'm sure they're going to make a third one with the success of this one. So, uh, you know, maybe that's something we can look forward to. But even if this was the only one we got, um, I don't know if you agree with this, man, but I think I'd be happy if the, like I want other ones, but if, but this could represent that movie on my shelf and with everything else, you know, we're collecting. Um, I think this would be the figure to have like the Dune figure to have. So even if this is the only one we get, uh, I'd still be happy if it looks this good. It, it, yeah. What I would like for this, I would not lie for this figure is just a extra diorama base. You could like a stick and attack attach onto the main base would be to the back of a sandworm 
Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, or, yeah. you know, I see a lot of people buying those popcorn <laughs> popcorn buckets. Yeah. They're going to be utilizing yeah. those for, yeah. for something. Drop, but, um, drop like a soda, I get a soda car figure that you can just have hanging on as it's falling in. Yeah, that'd be really um, cool. But, but like him have the hooks that could it has extension pieces and just two hands that are for those and maybe an alternate head sculpt that has them kind of covered up or something. Like not, it'd just be like a, you know, plastic one and stuff like that, that you could attach and give that look to him from the movie and just have that yeah. diorama base. And it's like, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 bucks extra. And then yeah. like, to me, that would be the like ultimate figure because I think that's one of the most iconic scenes with him. And it would just be really cool. And it's not something that it's something if you're super hardcore, like in the movie, you're going to want to get it, but it's not something where then it detracts from, you know, necessarily if you just want the regular Paul or something like that, it wouldn't come with, you know, crazy pieces that everybody might want. That's if you're really love the movie, you would go get it. Yeah. Rob yeah. says, uh, I watched Dune 2 last night, fell asleep at least five times. I don't get this franchise too slow. I mean, look, dude, it, at the end of the day, you know, it's all personal preference, right? So if, if it wasn't for you, it wasn't for you. Honestly, when I first watched Doom 1, when it first came out, the first 30 minutes, I was like, I don't know about this. I, and I had that same feeling. But as you know, the film progressed, I was like, okay, this is awesome. I love this. So I, I understand it. You know, it's not for everybody. And I don't, you know, I don't think any of us would take offense to that. You know, you, you like what you like at the end of the day. So, some people don't like Star Wars. Or, you know, me, I've never seen a majority of the Lord of the Rings films. And most people want to kill me when I say that. But it's true. I've, I haven't seen most of them. <laughs> yeah, that's lame. With this one, this one gets going. I feel like the first one uh, did have to world build a lot more. And yeah, I feel like sure. this one for me, I, I'm kind of surprised, again, like like Connor said, like you know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. I'm kind of surprised. I've I've heard a few people say it was too slow. I for me personally, man, I feel like they hit the ground running with this one. Like I feel yeah. like they they just really got it going pretty quickly, and they and they kept their foot on the. I mean, again, there is some slow parts, I guess, throughout it where it's just character moments and stuff. But for me, that's like important parts of the movie that I enjoy. And then like mm -hmm. the last forty five minutes to an hour is just like you know, yeah. I, I mean, mean, this doesn't give anything away, but just nonstop. Yeah. If you watch like the 2003 sci fi mini or 2000 miniseries, like that one, I could get where you go slow just because of budgetary. They couldn't show a lot of the stuff. Mm -hmm. But this one, I can understand with the first movie why you find it slow paced because it was, there, there was just certainly there, more there, slow paced in the second. There, one, there were sure. parts of that that felt like, you know, you're sitting in the Galactic Senate hearing about trade laws and taxes and why we won't pay them. And you're just like, what are the space wizards going to do stuff, man, instead of just standing there and looking solemn? But the second movie here, just like, it was a world for all the characters. And not, this is where I look at it, where I understand there were definitely parts that were not like where you would normally say action, feel like action scene things. But there was a kinetic energy where there was a whirlwind of action happening for each one of the characters, even the secondary characters, where you saw yeah. their characters evolving just as the movie, from Lady Jessica to Stilgar to Chani to some of the secondary Fremen to just seeing the Fremen in general. There's right. always kinetic, there's a kinetic, not action, but energy, because everybody is changing and evolving, even the Harkonnens and stuff they're that they're having reactions to what's happening uh you know later with the emperor and his daughter like just there, there's kinetic stuff happening as people are reacting now some of it's a lot of talking you know but you're yeah. still seeing that there's different things happening and you know i'm really amazed for the movie and the, i love this figure i think it looks great um the movie's really nailed um for 190 million dollars, which is a lot of money, but when we talk about like the Marvels may have costed 300 million before spending on you know advertising on it, um, they just nailed the butt. You know, they nailed creating. A, they created a world. Yeah, the on sets different I heard planets, were amazing. You know, yeah, on and you felt like it was a bigger galaxy because it wasn't just Arrakis felt like a world. You know, when you see some of the other planets and stuff and see how they're totally different looking. 
you get the feel of the greater yeah and they apparently the they returned to some of the original filming locations from the first film which i think is cool just to kind of keep that consistency um clinton really quick has a question though clinton asked the figure looks amazing the statues are great what do you guys think of the base um i like it's it decent. i think it's cool you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of where like the Atreides clan was staying in the first one, uh, you know, when they yeah. first landed on Arrakis. It reminds me of that those structures. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I, I kind of like wish it. this was more the base like they came with that Black Adam figure from Hot Toys or something instead of the Goofy Throne, since it had like that has the aesthetic kind of or has the aesthetic that matches the world, but also you can actually like put the figure on it and stand it up, <laughs> stand yeah. it up how you want to. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, Clinton says the worm riding hooks are from Dune, too. Yeah, yeah um, and, and Steve asked, is there any chance, we kind of touched on, is there any chance that Inart would, you know, make an accessory pack from Dune, too? I don't know. You guys tell me, if I was Inart, I would probably say, no, I'm going to make another figure and make you buy another yeah. figure. And I will say, guys, Inart did respond to somebody. Uh, someone was inquiring about, do they have any interest in Dune 2 figures? And they said they do have plans of looking into doing some Dune 2 figures. And all toys, they have a, a list a mile long that they showed, I don't know, it's probably been like six months at this point, of a bunch of different characters they want to touch, like Duncan from the first film, uh, the Baron, which, you know, we need a Aren't figure. Aren't they the making Baron, Duncan dude. already? They haven't, no, they, they haven't. Do they haven't Didn't announced they Duncan Lito yet. And... They made Leto, they made uh, Gurney, and they made two okay balls. no i'm th I, i'm thinking of gurney yeah leto leto and gurney have the uh the trades like armor on and then they did i actually just ordered it because i found it super cheap uh i got the 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 formal outfit of paul and it comes with a little box that he sticks his hand in in the first one i thought that was really cool if you're getting this one you might have to get like that gurney you might have to get that gurney I already, yeah i already ordered those a while. i ordered you, those a while ago yeah because you I might have like... to get those to go with it yeah, I, I ordered those a while ago because, you know, I loved the first film. So when I saw those go up, I'm like, I know Inart's going to do Paul, so I'm going to wait and see what they do, which, I, I you know, of course we knew they were probably going to do a better job. But, like, this photo here, guys, this literally looks like a still from the film. Looks so it's, good, it's man. Beautiful. So I'm yeah. guessing there must, like we were talking earlier, there must be some wiring and stuff in, like, the actual... it got to be. The way that cape is flowing, stuff. yeah. Yeah. Ty says import tax uh, for the exclusive uh, Muad'Dib uh, would cost me 180 if I buy from. See, that's what I'm saying, guys. Like you know, you might think like, oh, buying direct from the company is going to be the best deal. It, it isn't all. It, depending on where you are geographically, it's not always the best deal. You know, it, so it's just like you know, people in the UK that buy from Sideshow, they're the shipping and stuff is getting crazy for them. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are looking at alternate means or to purchase Prime One, them. which or any of those places over there costs a lot. Right. I'm interested to know for you guys to go with this, Paul. If you could get at least one ma another figure from Dune Two to go with it, who would you want to get? Like, if you could only get one, Shawnee for there. sure, Shawnee. Yeah, I I'd probably say Fade Rotha for me because I want to just have that Fade. that yeah, dual scene. Me. Yeah, that that and his cool, character. Th I'm telling you the care, and again, this isn't spoilery, so don't worry, chat. Uh, because you see this in the trailers, the yeah, that, scene that they did in infrared. Yeah. Well, in the, even the scene they did like an in infrared. Oh uh, yeah, in the, like in the Coliseum. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that just just one of the coolest character introductions I've seen in a bit. You know, I was wondering was so for a cool. while, like, when is Fade going to come in? It reminded me of we haven't seen him yet. That like Sin City aesthetic, yeah, yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Um, Ian says Doom Part One was amazing. Part Two was absolutely fantastic. Doubt anything will surpass it this year. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to top for me. It's personally. that good. It's that yeah. good. Like Connor said at the beginning, when when you hear people talking about like throwing around the word masterpiece, like I'm always like, okay, come on, man. Like yeah, like Oppenheimer, that was being. Which to be fair, Oppenheimer was a fantastic <laughs> film, but you know. Yeah, but when but when you're hearing that, it's almost like you're setting yourself up for disappointment when you go see it. And this is one of those rare movies that, like for me at least, met that expectation of like. Because I'll be I'll be honest with you, like a year ago, this wasn't like on my like man, I can't ab I absolutely can't wait to see Dune two. I was excited for it, but it wasn't like something I was just you know wanting to get as much well, info as possible. And as soon as this came out uh, and I watched it, it's it's definitely just incredible. I like, yeah, I like with the mask and everything there, like. They, yeah, they, a lot of versatility here with this figure. I would never I, display him like this, just because you cover up that. Well, you're not covering it up; it's an alternate sculpt. The, but you get what I mean. Like that sculpt is just so beautiful. So, Connor, mm. I would ask you with this because I know you know you've had you, you were always 
I know we've talked about multiple times. You were a sculpted guy for most of your figures because yeah, you know, just the price and other stuff with um, <laughs> the rooted hair. But I will say, you know, as you talked about, at least with just speaking for in art, you know, I know we've had discussions on here before and we've mm -hmm. talked about where you just felt in art with their earlier figures like Joker with the Batman. I know the Batman is especially is the one from them that kind of whacked you in the side of the head because you just went their sculpted hair just like it no, looks terrible in comparison or not terrible, but just I, you know, I don't think with it. especially the Bruce Wayne. I had the Bruce Wayne on order, the sculpted one, and I disliked it so much after seeing more photos. I upgraded to the rooted. I just and it's not to crap on anybody that's getting the sculpted. You may like it just for me. I feel yeah. like they're early because, again, Paul looks really nice. I think the sculpted looks really nice. Well, that, I feel like their earlier be... stuff, there's not enough fineness in the in the sculpt. Like yeah. like I said, the in-art Joker hair, it's very chunky to me. Yeah. Well, so that, that was the point why I was bringing that up in relation to this Paul. Is for me, I think the sculpted hair looks as good as the rooted That's hair. fair, yeah. I mean, the, yeah. For the posing of it, how they show it in the pic. Now, it, being the fact you might be able to mess around with the hair a little bit more with the rooted hair when you get yours and stuff, there's always going to be that advantage with it. But to me, I think this is, for me, I think this is the first time where Inart has done where you can just look, just if they are in the same, the hair is in the same look for both of them, that the rooted hair and the sculpted hair look about on par with each other. Yeah, I mean, I would disagree with that, but I respect your opinion. To me, it's like, and it also, Lane, it also, you know, and you, you, you were mentioning, like, you know, I originally was, which is true, I was very much against rooted hair, only because, one, my past experiences with the Hot Toy stuff was not good. Yeah. And also, it was getting over that hump of, you know, I'm spending an extra 150 or so dollars, and I'm only getting the, the rooted hair sculpt. And it took the the first figure that really was like okay i understand was the wb 100 wonder woman believe it or not that was the first one i got with wool rooted hair and i'm like this is awesome i'm like i feel i feel like uh i might be uh interested in more rooted hair figures now and so that happens sometimes guys right you know that's okay when you collect stuff sometimes you change opinions i remember i said i wasn't going to collect anything other than star wars now here we are so but no you know it, it took that figure and it took people like uh trevor from one six shooter he really schooled me on it. he's like man like trust me like this wool rooted hair stuff's different and i could honestly tell you you know i was very happy for the most part with the in art joker when i first got it but there was always something in the back of my mind where i'm like i'm not happy with how the hair looks on the sculpted sculpts i was just it was something about it i didn't like the chunkiness to it the color and this is leaves and bounds better with the right and i and i got this rooted hair in person after I got this rooted hair sculpt and I'm like, this is like a whole new experience for me. Like I, I went from really liking the figure to like falling in love with the figure. Like it's like perfect to me now as, as perfect as perfect can be. Right. There's always going to be small issues here and there, but I really love it. I, and, and I'm sold on the rooted hair stuff and I never thought I would say that, but you know, that's what it takes sometimes is feeling something in hand and seeing it in person and be like, okay, I get what people are talking about. So that's it. Yeah. So that, that's really why I made the decision to go to rooted. And like I said, Lane, I, I respect your opinion on the sculptor versus rooted me personally. When I look at it, I think the rooted looks significantly better in terms of realism. Like Timothy Chalamet's hair looks almost exactly like this. It's very loose. It's got like a, you know, a, a bit of like a tease to it on the sides. Like the sculpted hair does look very good. And I think it looks better than the Aug toy sculpted hair. But for me personally, when I look at the two, I think there's no question that the rooted significantly better just because of that realism aspect. Now, if we're talking about capturing the likeness, I think they both capture the likeness very well. Uh, but that, that's just that's my what personal I'm opinion. That, that's what I'm speaking of. Though. I think they both look exactly like it. To me, oh, that's of course. What yeah, it's just, yeah, of, of course. But yeah. Um, it's also not a case by case either, because then you got Harry Potter where you can't even see the scar right. unless you buy the rooted hair. And that's like a a huge yeah, aspect yeah. Well, of the no, character. This, so, well, this is, this you know, is it's the all first case by one. case too. You know? This this is the first figure I've seen where I would say, I think that the, um, this is literally the first figure I think where in, for in art, where I think the, the rooted and the, in the actual sculpted hair look the same, mostly for showing the likeness and looking the same. You're all, I would hope, I always hope for like an extra hundred bucks that the rooted hair would look better. Okay. Yeah.
No, I get what but, you're saying. I get what you're saying. I, I yeah. just wanted to clarify that I think in terms of the overall package, the rooted looks a lot better. That's not, I, but I get what you're saying though. They both do a great job at at portraying the likeness of the character, and we haven't seen that sure much get, in the past from that. I, you know? I want to make sure we get balance so we don't get too many people just jumping on the the rooted necessarily spend the extra hundred bucks when the sculpted is a very equal. I at least I consider an equal alternative. No, it's all personal the preference. The rooted is yeah. absolutely like a you know. But that's why you got to be like a, a really big fan of the character and also you have to have the want to pursue further realism right because again if the sculpted looks good then go for the sculpted if you don't care about spending that extra money save yourself the money for me again and i i like steve said steve said um after the inart joker rooted i'll never go to sculpted for an art rooted is uh a fire yeah sorry it didn't show up for me at first um yeah, and I totally agree. And and again, I've had both in hand. I've had the sculpted, and I, I now have a rooted sculpt. And I can tell you, just personal preference, when I'm looking at them, I much, much prefer the rooted. And again, that's all personal preference. I'm not, you know, I, I still love my sculpted figures from Hot Toys, and I'm very pleased with how the sculpted hair looks from them. So it's just, when I have the opportunity to pick one or the other, and it's within my budget, I'm going to go for it. That's just, that's just what I'm at. Yeah. That's kind of what my thinking was on it too, is I, I kind of agree with what Lane said. Like I, I would be happy with either one personally. I, sure. I think, yeah. I think with this figure being so far out where, you know, I got, you know, plenty of time to save up for it or whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm like you Connor, like I, if I'm going to spend that money anyway, like I want the most realistic and especially for a character like this, where this might only be, this could only be the only Dune figure I it's have probably, in my display. Yeah. You know, so I want that to look as good as possible. But real quick before we move on for the uh what do you think about that backpack accessory? I just love that accessory, man. It opens up, it just looks really, really yeah, good. Yeah, I was hoping that because at first when I quickly glanced in the photos, I wasn't sure that they included it. Um, but man, yeah, dude, it looks good. And and this like you said, this world has such a unique aesthetic to all their little like parts and everything. And like the Fremen technology is so cool to me and it's so unique and like all the different little moisture uh accessories and stuff he comes with like because you know that's the 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 frem and that's their thing is like you know they they utilize their the body sweat and everything with the still suit to kind of convert that everything like yeah. expelling liquids from your body is a no no you know they you know they've they've grown to live in the desert and they're like the only ones that could do it because of that and then you know all the different and accessories and everything just amazes me it's just beautiful and I just want to see more great costume design like this. We talked about it with Balin and Shin earlier. Like, I think where Marvel is going down, like we saw it with the Iron Man suits and different things. Like we're seeing a lot of the CGI suit and CGI costume design. Like, I think when you get really good costume design, like you get in the Dune movies, it just lends itself to look incredible in figure form, you know? And I just love yeah. the, it's, it's almost like a mashup of like, new technology but also like kind of an old school feel to it it's like a mixture of those two things right that's the, the interesting thing about the fremen right is they're very they seem primitive but they're really not in, in a lot of ways they have this very ingenious technology you know, they've got plenty of weapons and stuff like that so yeah it's 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 very unique and very interesting um really quick i want to say what's up to enrolled agent and also uh collector's entity is in the house what's up guys i hope you're doing well and Enrolled said I had to get that rooted with Aragorn. And I don't think the rooted Aragorn hair looks too bad either, but I do think in terms of the color, that's the other thing is like getting the, the color correct on sculpted hair is a bit more difficult. And I think the color on Aragorn's hair, at least from what I could tell a, 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 a non Lord of the Rings fan, it looked more accurate to me uh, to how uh, Viggo Mortensen's hair looked in the actual movie. So, um, uh, Evil Sneakers bouncing out. Evil Sneakers says I got to bounce, guys, but I'll catch the rest tomorrow. Justin, please say all good things about me backstage night all. Uh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Yes, may thy knife chip and shatter. That, you know, that scene that you were talking about with Fade it, that we see in the trailer, that's such a good scene. So, so tense. It's incredible, man. man. So yeah. tense. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the comments. <laughs> Everybody's saying this looks like Kanye. Yeah, he is kind of dressed like that lately. Chris, um, I know you're not really like you're not you're not really ingrained in the dune universe did you have anything to say before we move on to our next topic um i can just <laughs> <laughs> sorry we just woke him up <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> i've just been letting y'all ramp but um i i think figure wise they nailed it i think it looks like timothy Chalamet. um yeah you know it seems to be doing pretty good with the whole rooted hair and their sculpts and clothing they just have uh, like a problem with their delivery, but yeah, other than that, it's 
positive things. I'm excited for people to get it. I'm not a Dune fan. I don't, you know, I don't know how many people have heard that, but the movies just didn't pique my interest, and it is what it is. I'd rather see a Wonka by Timothy, but I'm, yeah, that that Hot Toys rumor. You know, I, I hope it comes true because I still want that figure, man. I was really excited for that. But. And, and that's what's cool about it too is that whoever said that in the comment, and just like what Chris was saying, like. You know, that's just what's cool about collecting is like some people are really excited about this figure. Some people kind of want it and then some people have no interest in it and they're going to put right. their money towards something else. So that's that's the cool thing about kind of curating your display and your collection. Absolutely. That is totally the one agree. thing he does cost almost as much as two of the Ahsoka. Line <laughs> yeah. So this guy yes. brooded, I think yeah. it's 475 and then shipping, yeah. which is not bad at all. They said shipping is about 10 to 20 dollars estimated from in art directly. Uh, excuse me, Queen Studios. So that was a pleasant surprise when I saw that flat rate yeah. shipping. I, I was, was pretty surprised excited by that about as well because I've never bought from them directly yeah. before for any because I don't collect statues or busts or anything like that. So right. Um, so, so I'm Connor. stoked for, for all you guys who are picking it up for sure. Yeah. Thanks, man. And, I, and oh, I'll see it in, in person anyway. From yeah, Colorado. you'll see it eventually. Tom <laughs> says, "Can I ask why you don't give Lord of the Rings a chance and watch all three? It's not even that I'm not giving it a chance. I'll be honest with you. Part of me. I want to wait until all of the in art figures are sold out and gone. So I don't have that temptation. Cause I'm sure I'll like it. That, but yeah. Having to buy, but also mode, it's like, time. you know, Tom, I'm already invested emotionally and financially with all these figures and stuff with so many different universes. It's like, do I really want to go down that? Because there's so many like incredible characters I've heard in those films. So I don't, I just don't want to. Oh yeah. And Hey man, there's something not even big statues, but like Weta does those big landscapes. Like they've done yeah. a Venus Tirith and stuff. And you might look at one of those and go, well, I know a spot that could go in because not that, not that tall. Um, exactly. I, yeah. That's true, Adam. That's true. <laughs> yeah. This figure by the time new beside, well, no Villeneuve has said he's going to take off a couple of years. So we're going to be a while before we get and the next so, one. And you know what's really cool is like Lord of the what, what's kind of surprising is like you know people were kind of saying Dune Two was slow. Like if you if you go in and watch Lord of the Rings like Fellowship or whatever, and it's you're not slow. used to that type of pacing, it takes its time. I mean, it really yeah. goes over about. I mean, they Especially they probably did those movies about as good as you could do, covering as much as they had to cover. Yeah, and that's true. Especially if you watch the deluxe, the extended edition, you better get oh, ready dude. for twelve to thirteen hours of sitting there. It's a yeah. it's a Lord of the Rings day basically. But so I had to ask Connor, are we going to be talking about what XO6 did on that, you know, one six scale on uh, Federation aren't. Doctor Crime? We aren't. I, sorry, Lane, I just have figure. so much stuff more interesting to me that I pulled up that I I'm not a you know I'm not a Star Trek guy, so I don't have that pulled up. Um, Boo. I know, I know. I haven't seen Star Boo. Trek either, but I promise you, I will never. Star Trek is just, it's not that I have any issues with it. I, it's just not something that I feel like would be my well, style. Well, if you told me for the last, sense. like, I don't know, 15 years, I would have gone totally get you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it it's not. Yeah, it's, I, I, I know Star, Star Trek uh, has a really big fan. And, I, and, and I, I have nothing against it. It's just. Six figure, but just one of my yeah, favorite it's, characters it's just, finally getting made made me go, ooh. I get it. I get it. It's just not, nothing that's, it's not interest me. Like the, the glimpses I've seen of it, it's just not my style, but I, I know there's, they've got a bunch of big fans and stuff like that. It used I, to I be easier. It. it used to be easier, man. Like you used to just, what, you know, talking about Lord of the Rings, Connor, like you could just go see that movie three years later, you go see the second one three years right. later, go see it or whatever. You know, I don't, I can't remember the timeline now with all these shows, like with star, Wars, like you got to keep up with so much it's stuff. A lot now, to keep man. up. That's what I'm yeah, saying. And I, like, I love Harry Potter and I watch everything. Harry Potter. I love, you know, star Wars. You'll Dude, be in heaven you know, then you know. in 2026. Yeah, and then and then everything yeah. DC I love. So it's like, do I really want to commit to another franchise? Maybe, maybe I'll give it a chance hey, on a Hey, you get day, a restart but... over me with the United Hot Toys going to be making eventually the TV series version of Harry Potter. Yeah, the years. yeah. I know we'll you're see. excited already. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But um, yeah, guys, just real quick bit of news as we move on from Inart. Um, the Inart, the Batman is finally starting to ship, and I'm sure this is probably mainland China, very small batch, but he, he's he's coming. He's finally coming. So. Uh, I know we always talk about shipping times. Everybody has questions about shipping time. So interesting to see the the pallets and stuff like we we usually see with hot toys for in art. See, so. see, see in uh, like June or July. 
Yeah, possibly. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know uh, the Batman is coming soon. It's not going to be like an, it's going to be a slow release. Like if you guys buy from Kit, especially, he's very good about saying, order number this to this, yours is coming soon. And then he gets more eventually. And then order number this to this. So it's going to be a slow process, I'm sure. Are y'all um, all getting that one, uh, that Batman? I, I did not. So what I decided okay. to do against my better judgment because i love it so much i wanted both i was like let me do this let me get the hot toys one because i think it looks fantastic i'm very happy with that that set um and then i'll get the bruce wayne since i don't have a bruce wayne of of that batman um i got the rooted bruce wayne on order oh okay it. nice so that's what i decided to do split it up that way i got my batman it's in my collection ready to go uh, so yeah um really quickly guys just a quick update i mentioned this earlier we were talking about aug toys uh, all toys is going to be doing a triple release essentially in April. So Dude. they say, at least from this post. So again, we mentioned earlier, they have a still suit version of Paul as well that we'll be releasing. So if you guys want it now, you don't want to wait. There's a version coming out from all toys. And then we do have Gurney and Lido Atreides as well. So those of you guys that pre-ordered just wanted to update you guys. That will be happening. very and that soon, Gurney apparently. might be a good one, at least to go with Paul. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really thing. excited to check it out. I'm a big fan of Josh Brolin and his character was awesome in the second film. I really like what they did with him and it was good to see him back. So, um, hmm. yeah, d definitely, definitely really excited to check. I would have picked a different outfit for Leto if I had the chance, like Gurney, I'm, I'm cool with that, like fighting suit, that armor, but if it makes Leto, I would have preferred a more formal look, but yes, I'll I agree with you. Oscar Isaac is, is someone that I'm a big fan of. So I'm like, I'll take it. Um, we got to talk about this one, guys. Uh, I'm a big stumbling. fan of I'm a big fan of Stranger Things. I always have been. Uh, another good friend of mine. We kind of share that that love for Stranger Things. He's an even bigger fan than I am, and I'm a big fan. Um, and my favorite character, for those that know me, is is Hopper. Hopper is my favorite character. So I've been wanting this one for a while, and you know I'm kind of going in this uh, with with a mixed thought in mind because i have the entire stranger things line that's been released thus far the kid figures have been pretty subpar like not of normal three zero quality i own figures from the walking dead line i should say i own a figure from the walking dead line my other rick hasn't shipped yet i have yeah. many figures from the game of thrones line and those are pretty yeah. dang solid but the 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 stranger things line for whatever reason they just completely shit the bed with them like the the hands look like they're basically unpainted they have no life to them the face sculpts are basically lifeless so i i'm skeptical about this one uh in that regard because they've done such a, a mediocre job on the previous figures the demogorgon was actually pretty nice and i think vecna looks very good as well it's also very interesting how three zero just kind of jumps between films like this is the season one hopper here in the sheriff outfit and then they give us vecna from the most recent season four so it's very interesting how they jump around like that they do it with other lines as well I'm going to be picking this one up for sure because, again, he's my favorite character. I love the show. In some shots, the hat looks really bad. and others, I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. With the glasses on, that's like a, you know, what were they thinking? Like, what is that? It just, you know. Looks like a super trooper, man. What right, it doing? looks like Officer Doofy or something, man, from Scary Movie. <laughs> like, it, no. so, yeah, it, this one I think is going to be very dependent on how you pose it. Mm-hmm. The sculpt that looks to me, good. yeah, the sculpt to me, I'm going to be honest with you, I would probably do like a 7 out of 10 on this one in terms of the likeness of David Harbour. Hmm. What I will say, though, is I am seeing typical, like, decent 3-0 quality in terms of the paint apps, at least on this prototype. So that's a good sign that maybe they're like, okay, we dropped the ball on the kids, but we'll do better moving forward. That obviously remains to be seen, but I'm very, very excited to get this one. Uh, I, I love David, Har uh, David Harbour and... I love this character so much. He's my favorite character in the show, like I said. So, and, and if I had to pick one look, it would either be this look or the the look where he's in like the Hawaiian shirt. I think that was from season three. Yep. Um, so I'm very happy with this. I think he looks awesome. Justin, I, I feel like, you know, we haven't talked about it, but I feel like you have an interest in Stranger Things as well. Oh, absolutely. I, I love Stranger Things, man. And I, I, I actually am glad that it's taken so long for that last season to come out because I, I do think there's power in like, having to wait a little bit before it comes out. But I'm with you. The one I wanted was the season three. I mean, this is the most iconic Hopper look based on the first two seasons, so I'm happy with this. The uh, The thing that I'm a little – I'm kind of glad I just heard you talk about the other characters because I am a fan and I wanted to pick up – like once I saw this come out, I was like, okay, now I got to get all the figures. 
I think I'm going to get this one and I'm probably just going to wait and see if they eventually release maybe season three or season four figures of those characters. Yeah. Based on what you just said, because uh, this one looks, I'm, I'm totally with you. I think I'd give it the same grade as you, like a seven out of 10. And, uh, but I'm definitely getting Hopper's my favorite character too. And second, I would say Steve, but um, yeah, Steve's awesome too. But yeah, dude, I, I'm glad to hear what you had to say about the, the, uh, the, yeah, the kid man, figures, it... because I was thinking about once this came out, I was like, okay, once I get this, I want those. But now I'm thinking I might just wait based on your review of them. Yeah. And, and I will say, I do know of a couple places that have the figures really cheap. You know, it depends on what you pay for them too. Like I paid full price plus 20 off from sideshow for most of them. And I have Mike and Will on pre-order they haven't released yet. Like I said, they it, if you're someone that has previous 3-0 figures in your collection, you know that like the quality is actually pretty good for the price. And you know we got to give it to 3-0 guys. They've kept that price point for the longest time. You know, officially licensed figures, like you know, like Geralt from The Witcher, recently announced not long ago, 180 bucks. This figure around 180 bucks. You got to give it to them in, a, in an officially licensed capacity. Not many companies in the one six scale world are selling at that price point. Now, obviously, that comes along with, okay, you know, you might not get Hot Toys quality. Well, you won't get Hot Toys quality paint paint jobs. But some of the paint jobs have been pretty nice. Like like I said, a lot of the Game of Thrones stuff is very nice. And, like, the sculpts are way nicer in person when you see them. I have the most recent Hound that came out the season. I think that's a season seven look. Um, and the rooted hair, even though it's cheaper rooted hair, it looks pretty nice. So it's like, and, and like, the, the fur that they use, the cloaks and everything, they, they've done a pretty decent job for the price that they asked. So... Do you know um, why they're switching between seasons? Do you know why they win? They do that a lot. Like when you look at like the, the Game of Thrones line, they've mm -hmm. just jumped all over the place. Like, you oh, know, okay. okay, we'll do some season one. Figure. One, no, five, season. seven. Right. They just jump all over the place. So they do that a lot. I feel like they pick and choose what they think is going to be popular. Um, and like they have a lot of prototypes they sit on as well. Like they, they showed a mountain, uh, you know, after the mountain got, you know, poison and everything, and he becomes basically a, a lifeless mm -hmm. walking suit of armor. Um, that that look that a lot of us would want, they haven't announced that yet, but they, they showed off a prototype of the show. And then there was also uh, the the main look that everybody wants for Daenerys, the, the season seven look. Mm -hmm. uh, they know, also but, tease Drogo. Or whatever. Yeah, Cal Drogo they Cal tease as well. So they, they tease uh, a lot of stuff. Sometimes yeah. they don't release it, but. And did they do the war or no? Did they do who? The worm. No, they didn't. No. I thought they did. You know, the, the so. Stranger Things license is interesting because I don't know if y'all ever played Dead by Daylight, but they had like those. Uh, they had yeah, Steve and then and the Nancy licensing got pulled. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And the that's. Licensing. Yeah. And now I'm wondering, like, are we going to get all the straight? Like, are we even going to get a Steve and an Nancy? Well, I'll tell you this. Get... I think that there's a high possibility that they will because I know that you're you're like coming into this at an interesting time. There was a huge gap in announcements for Stranger Things. After so they announced the first three kids, which was Dustin. Uh, I think it was Dustin first. Then it was uh, was it Dustin first? I think it was Dustin first. Or no, I'm sorry. It was Eleven, Dustin, then Lucas, and then um, and they all came after the Demogorgon. So it was those four, and then we heard nothing for a while. It was quite oh, a while, okay. and then they announced Will and Mike at the same time. And then there was another dry spell. We didn't hear anything about Stranger Things. And then out of nowhere, we got a Vecna. And then, you know, Vecna wasn't that long ago. So it's like, I feel like they're starting yeah. to announce more Stranger Things stuff. And if and you I look at their previous lines, I, I highly recommend you guys, if you're starting to collect 3-0 stuff, go on their website because they keep an inventory of all the different lines, all the figures they've announced and released from those lines. And it gives you an idea of how crazy they really get with these lines because they do a lot of characters, like especially like Game of Thrones and Walking Dead. They've done a lot. So didn't yeah. didn't they do um uh, like a another rendition of those kids like aren't they doing that like updating them I thought I saw that somewhere or they re-released them before? but for yeah, as far as I could tell there was no updates done to them like oh, some okay. people were saying like oh it looks like they repainted this skull it it looks the oh, same okay. yeah oh. it looks the same they did though you're right they did it they they all sold out and they were sold out for months and then the three zero was like oh we're gonna be Keep doing in a mind, when you them. look at some of the three zero stuff like there's some walking dead fate that I would love like even a little bit of Game of Thrones maybe um they get kind of pricey so yeah. in the yeah. secondary market Chris, yeah, do you have, have any? Them. Do you have any of those walking? Because I was looking at like that season seven Rick Grimes and like yeah, the I have that one. Or... Chris, had, I, Chris has I, the I Sheriff Rick. Season, yeah, I just started. Well, I was late to the Walking Dead cycle. 
Um, how how so is that just, figure though? Because they got even those Rambo figures. I was kind of interested in. Dude, like those looked really good. I actually have it on my the desk. Season one Rick is fantastic. Yeah, it's it's good. good. Okay, nice. Really nice. Here you go. I actually have it on my desk. I think I have almost, a review of him on the channel. If you want, I'm gonna check that out, man. Because I, 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 yeah, I like the. I mean, they get good licenses, man. I, I really am. Yeah, dude, that looks pretty. It good. looks he's just like Andrew Lincoln, arms, in my right? opinion. Yeah, he's got the seamless arms as well, which look really nice. I, I need that. I need that season seven. I just like that, like that beard get, look from. Yeah, I have that one on order. Too. You I get his too. coat, like which is what I have. He's back there. That's oh him. okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the whole jacket in him carrying yeah, the got guns and stuff with that. All the guns from the you know. Remember when he went to the police station? And he set. took all the shotguns and stuff. Yeah, it's dude, a dope figure, nice. man. It's it's yeah. like I said, some of their stuff is very nice. It's just. The Stranger Things line, strange, uh, excuse me, Stranger Things line is like an anomaly. I'm like, what? What have they done? Like, why? Why are they doing this to a show that I love so much? You know. That's what I was gonna say. That's like, a, I mean, again, it's kind of cooled off a little bit, but there for a while, this is like a gold mine of a line. Like everybody was buying Stranger Things stuff. Like it, the Funko license pops, was everywhere. Yeah, yeah, Funko dude. pops were going nuts. Yeah. Some of those Stranger Things Funko pops, and it's funny. Adam's mentioning an Eddie Munson. I would love an Eddie Munson. Some of those Eddie Munson Funko pops, especially the first one, it was selling for like crazy amounts of money. Uh, I, have says a ton of their, looks cool. I have a ton of their Game of Thrones stuff. That was like where I first dove into three zero. Yeah, the Game of Thrones stuff is very nice. I have a, I have a lot of it as well. Um, it's like hit or miss though. With yeah, like Arya, she's with a them. bit derpy. I'm glad that yeah. I have her because I love the character. But Jamie Lannister is a hit. That Jamie looks fantastic. awesome. Uh, the most recent Tyrion. Hound looks awesome. Tyrion, Tyrion's we have fantastic. the same Tyrion. He looks fantastic. So they've done really good stuff. Uh, X Man says I'm waiting for that Mars Toys 66 Catwoman and Batgirl. Yeah, the 66 stuff from Mars is is pretty incredible. I can't wait to see. Uh, I more personally, stuff I like Mars. Sansa. I like the way Sansa looks too. That yeah, I saw that on. Uh, that's still uh, available. I, I think right. That's one I don't mm -hmm. like. I actually I don't like the character that much, but I also don't really care for the head sculpt too much on that. I one. bought that for my wife, but I'm glad I have her in there to complete like the Stark family. But you know. Nice. Yeah, I love the John. I have the 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 second John that they released, not the the, yeah, the season Watch seven one. John. Yeah, the season yeah. seven John. That's an awesome figure. Not a perfect head sculpt, but a pretty decent head sculpt. I have Tyrion. That's where he pulled the hair back and became a badass. Basically, yeah, yeah. The, the goat. He became the goat. My girlfriend was watching. She smacked me because she hates John. But uh, <laughs> yeah, guys. You know, I don't want to spend too much time, but. I just wanted to show this because it's exciting to me and I could I could tell that Justin uh, seemed to, to really be excited about this one. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully uh, sooner than later, we see some more stuff. I agree with you. Like, honestly, my favorite aesthetic from Stranger Things is season three, Justin. So I would love to see like season three eleven with the hair pulled up in that like loose fitting like 80s style shirt. I would love to see a Steve like scoops ahoy, Steve. Even I would take that if that's the only one we could get. I would take that too. The, Robin the Steve would be cool. I totally season three has got the coolest aesthetic. I feel like Steve, I'd love that season two babysitter Steve. Yeah. The green, like the green long sleeve shirt with the baseball bat. That would be like the perfect be Steve for me. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I, I do have a lot of confidence. They'll continue to do more, especially because what we've seen lately. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to get this one though. I'm going to get this one. Yeah. Though. I ordered it from Althrax already. He, he I, I ordered it and John messaged me. He's like, took you long enough. Cause he know he knows <laughs> new, normally I'm the one harassing him to put stuff up. So yeah. Um, something that really, really impressed me this past week that really caught a lot of us really? off guard. Holy crap, guys. This is actually a completely different modified sculpt from the original prototype that Toys Era showed off. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, this is not Mando. Uh, this is not Joel from The old. Last of Us uh, Max show. Um, and uh, I'm not going to lie. I think this is better than the Hot Toys Mandalorian sculpt. This is like pretty pretty perfect in my opinion like i'm very very shocked this is toys era guys he says in the top corner but um this is from toys era guys um these are manufactured photos so you can see like there's all the production head sculpts right there these are the two updates that we see uh, that we saw from toys era this is a really exciting figure set too like the the sniper rifle the bolt action rifle that it comes with is real wood and real metal which is really cool so there's a lot of premium aspects to the to this figure um, they also ha are, are doing Ellie as well. I have that one on pre-order. Uh, I decided to go with the show versions just for that kind of realism to fit in with my other figures. Not that I'm opposed to video game figures at all. It's just what I decided on these. And I, I really like Pedro Pascal a lot. So uh, Bella Ramsey, uh, I think she did great as well as uh, at, um, at playing Ellie. So just, just 
you know, amongst the hype of seeing this show, I really enjoyed it. So I had to pre-order these and I'm glad that I did because holy crap. Now I will say, uh, these are still available for pre-order guys. If you're kind of waiting to see how they turned out, um, these are still available for pre-order basically everywhere. They're Toys Era. I think this is the last father. I think that's the name of it. And I'm not sure the name of Ellie, but they're still available for pre-order. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. because I think these look fantastic. Um, and I, I was really just kind of taken back by it, right? Because I think it looks awesome. I mentioned earlier that we had uh, some surprise third-party uh, announcements today. How's this for a surprise? Uh, Present Toys really uh, is consistently giving us Terminator stuff. Uh, um, yeah, they're they're really going in because you know we have. I have two Terminators from them in my collection. I have the Battle Damage from the end of Terminator Two, and I have the clean version as well from Terminator Two. Now we're getting, we have the Tech Noir on pre-order now from Present Toys. Now we have this version uh, from the first Terminator film. So we have a lot of options. And then we have the T-1002 pack as well from Present Toys. So Present Toys is, is you know, for better or for worse, you know, I wasn't 100% satisfied with that, uh, with that battle damage version. But it's really great to see somebody at least committing to doing figures from these films because... You know, and, and I know for Chris especially, too, these films are very, like, pivotal films. And when you talk about some of your favorite films and the films that you constantly go back to and you constantly reference, Terminator 2, Terminator 1, they're, they're up there for me, especially Terminator 2, because obviously Terminator 2 is a perfect film. I don't care what anyone says. Um, but this is really exciting. And, uh, Chris, um, I know you've been on the fence about a few of these Terminators as we've seen them go up for pre-order. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on, on this set. we got three head sculpts. The third head sculpt I'm, I'm very puzzled by with a fully battle damage face. Um, but what are your thoughts, man? I, me personally, I think that the regular like default sculpt is probably the best looking Arnold likeness they've mm -hmm. done yet. I think it looks really nice. And I think they slimmed out the face a little bit, which they, they had to. Um, what are your thoughts on it, man? I have a feeling that's to do with the movie as well. It might have been easier to do a younger portrait for them. Um, with that being said, definitely want to echo what you said as far as C2 being a second film or, you know, being the uh, great film or whatever, that it's perfect. I second that. <laughs> um, and then. It's weird. With the future war, like I didn't pick up the first one they did because I already have the T eight hundred, like clean version, so right, I didn't the, need that one. And you have the original release of the that style, battle, right? You don't have the DX ten, yeah, yeah. do you? Do you have the DX ten? Or no, do you just I have the not. MMS? Oh, you have the MMS, was, okay. Yeah, it's still hot toys, but it's yeah, it's the it's not the DX version. Um gotcha. and I was like I really want that DX13. Like, that's, like, my ultimate kind of grail at this point. That would be, like, my main figure to chase. And then I saw them do that battle damage one, and I was super, super hyped for it. But that head sculpt really got to me. And it wasn't, yeah. like, an excuse not to get I just didn't want to have to deal with it once it was in the collection. I'd rather – I know what comes with the DX13. I've seen reviews of it. I've seen people have it, and it just can't – be denied and i know if i brought that other one in it would tear me up inside knowing that the dx 13 is out there so i kind of held off on it and then it came to this and i know hot toys also has a tech noir as well but that one's kind of dated in my opinion it's good but it's dated and i i know you said you're a fan of this costume design but me personally i'm not i kind of like his leather look um so i'm not gonna get this one as well but i do respect the first film like it's not yeah. my first film that i love out of the series but i do respect it enough and watch it because it ties into the second one and also mm -hmm. i'm hoping that they do do like another uh well they haven't done it but a sarah connor and you know all those other figures yeah, john and connor yeah there's a lot yeah. of holes that they could fill because that one third party john connor figure is like 800 dollars right now. exactly it's crazy and the way I'm thinking, you know, I'm very selective of what goes in here. I'm thinking if they are going down that rabbit hole, I kind of want to save space for that because I have my T-1000, I have my T-800, and I don't want too many Terminators. I still want an endoskeleton. I do want a battle damage version of him, so, like, I'm just holding off at this point. 
Yeah. But I do really, really like this. Uh, yeah, I'm right there with you. You know, recently I got the Terminator Genesis endoskeleton in my collection and I sold it within a couple of days. Or I traded it, I should say. Actually, no, I, no, I traded for it and then I sold it. Yeah, yeah. It just, it wasn't for me, you know. I thought that I could get it in hand and then just buy the blasters that the, the T-800s from Terminator 2 had and be happy with it, but the design shied too much away from the T2 endoskeleton to where I wasn't happy having it. And it just felt like a, oh, this is a consolation prize for not being able to get an actual T-800 endoskeleton. Because the T-800s in Terminator 2 very much were more like, they looked more like machines. Like they weren't refined. They didn't have mm -hmm. fine lines. They weren't perfectly chromed, you know? And like, yeah. when you look at the Genesis endoskeleton, it's like they improved that design in every way. And it's like, I didn't like that about it. It was less boxy. It was more sleek. And it just didn't have that Terminator 2 feel to me. So that's why I got rid of it. It just it just wasn't for me. And I've told this story many times. Like I even told Robert Patrick when I met him and I didn't even need to. But like as a kid, I literally pretended to be the T-800 and tormented my brother. <laughs> like I was obsessed with this film. Like my mom would have to literally in my leather jacket put like bullet hole details because I wanted to be him so bad. Yeah, man. I mean, the films, I have a lot of great memories with these films. And like I said, for me, like, I'm really glad that Present Toys is doing this. I hope that they do more stuff. I hope they continue to do it. They've been just pumping them out here and there. We've been seeing more and more Terminator stuff. So I, I think they probably will. I think they probably have John Connor, Sarah Connor, all that stuff on their list. And they know people are going to buy it. So um, the only thing that puzzles me about this is that third head sculpt, that whatever that hideous thing is. I, I have no interest in that, and it's it's good that they pixelated it because it looks like a it looks like the jack o' lantern uh, from uh, Halloween to me. It's very uh, puzzling, whatever that's supposed to be. But yeah, with that being said, I think this is this is dope, man. I'm I'm really glad to see more Terminator stuff. I don't know if you got any other you guys on the panel. I know Lane doesn't really do third party stuff, so he's probably like, yeah, don't ask me. Yeah, but that, that eyeball cool. scene scarred me like as a kid where it came out like and it yeah. still kind of creeps me out so that like for a movie of that stature in that time to be that graphically like detailed like it's pretty cool it's creepy yeah it's very creepy yeah. i'd well i'd welcome any like uh and i wonder if we're gonna get some of these figures because of the writer strike and stuff and they're gonna have kind of kind of have to go back to the vault a little bit but any james cameron movie figures that we can get i'd be all for I'd, yeah I just think you know, that... avatar you mentioned avatar not long ago very excited yeah. about those I think I am too, man. And, you, Chris, and yeah. I are probably the only three people that that are ordering them. Yeah. I don't know if you, I don't, which I is funny for a movie that made like two billion dollars, dude. It's, you know? <laughs> it's the weird, yeah. And I think, and I think that it does. I think it's way more popular overseas and stuff in other countries. I, like, I, but I think that I think it's one of those movies that people go see but don't really think about collecting too much. But I can't wait yeah. for those figures, man. I've really come around to those uh really wanting them like i feel like those are going to be really good pieces to have in your collection and the original really one yeah the, the original one had some issues here and there because I, of the height I, but it's selling for a lot of money i wish know? we'd get to see president toys probably really try and do like a robocop versus the terminator like two pack <laughs> setup or based or something like that i know at I'm this going point back lane when i show the side. next figure that might not be that crazy of an idea considering the other figure that they should actually lane let me pull that up now you know i agree with y'all on terminator 2 though i put it in the chat i just want to show my support to you guys like yeah, man, terminator yeah. 2 is a timeless movie man can't find it time with it. Too, that can like i'm down to grab. my favorite so no. i got well, i got hey, a list man, of there's perfect a, there, films there's a right? reason like Despite the Terminator franchise trying to have tried to like kill itself over the last since like, Terminator Three, years. yeah, or well, even some would say Terminator Three, even no, that's what I'm saying. Um, since Terminator yeah, I love Three, they yeah, for, themselves, so for like yeah. four movies over 20 quarter centuries trying to kill your interest in the franchise, you know, Prime One like just put out that uh, entire three part of tr statues, which are just Terminator Two, like that's the only thing to it. Or there's, you know, a, a shows the enduring popularity of that movie is that they're doing a giant minibus that can actually move. That's like five thousand. So cool of nice. Arnold Terminator. So that shows you just how much, despite everything that would try and kill a franchise or yeah. commit suicide, it's that effect that the that second that. film had. Really, I think so many people mm -hmm. hold that film in such high esteem. It, it's anything could happen, almost. right? They yeah. could release any other movies, and people are like, cool, I don't care. It's like you know, original trilogy purists when it comes to Star Wars anything they could release whatever they want cool i've got my original trilogy keep that other stuff away from me and they're and, happy with that so and when you rewatch t2 even today that movie it like i said with it being timeless like 
it, it still has like it has this weight to it. And like, I guess it's because I was a kid when I watched it. So those movies have a bigger impact on you anyway. It was but it was, it yeah, dude, it was just that movie that you, you were watching and you were like, you really couldn't believe what you were seeing. And it right. still holds up, which is incredible. Cause, cause like you get, and sorry, the soft track and then we'll get to this. It's like when you get somebody new to star Wars to watch from the original trilogy, going into what the sequels are, a lot of them like what the sequels look like because of all the modern technology. And yeah, stuff. that's how my, mm-hmm. my girlfriend is. She's like, I Same just prefer, you know, the, the modern theatrics, you know, the, the CGI, stuff like that. And I, I get it. And some people, you know, sir, they're, the younger generation now, they're like, oh, that's an old movie. I don't want to watch that. I'm yeah. glad that I don't have that mentality. I never did because, you know, I wouldn't have, you know, found my love for Clint Eastwood and old Westerns and stuff like that when yeah. I was a kid. But there are kids like that now. It's the age of technology. Well, there's, the, where... there's even like Lord of the Rings. You can say that that's old. And you're like, what? Yeah, the original like Harry Potter movies old. as well. You can see a difference between the original Harry Potter films and the new ones where. I mean, the know, act, the kid, the former kid actors are like, you know, mid 30s now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Real quick, guys. I just want to, you know show this off real quick uh too bad steve had to head out because him and i were talking about this earlier um i've been waiting for this one uh there's a company called nw toys that did their version this is obviously uh zelda from breath of the wild um they did their version and the sculpt looked link? nothing like them i'm sorry i said zelda <laughs> this is link from breath from of the wild <laughs> um they did their version nw toys did their version and the the head sculpt looked nothing like him from the game it was almost like a like a a, a manga version of them if you will that's what it kind of looked like to me i think this looks much better in terms of the yeah. head sculpt is it still is it perfect no but mm. it comes with a lot of really cool stuff i love that it i has love the master the, sword there yeah the master the sword posed up in this little shield. base that's really cool um, i think it would give a cool pop of color in the display yeah and it's a small character he's got smaller in stature so it'll fit basically anywhere um the other the nw toys for this little like um effect arm theirs is like a translucent swap out arm this doesn't have that but i would i would never personally use that anyway you know when you're talking about link you're going to use them with his shield and sword or his bow that's what most people are going to do so yeah um see i, I didn't sculpt play, is not terrible i didn't play zelda enough i was more like mario or even the the whole super mario bros and stuff so like if they ever did like a captain falcon or any people from that then yeah, that's what I was telling Steve. Like, if President like did like a uh, Mario and Luigi or something, like a two pack, yeah, that'd, that'd be super. That would cool. be. Yeah, I I have a hard time with this one because I haven't really played the modern. I mean, I always think back to Legend of Zelda: a Link to the Past, which is age. like yeah, o- Ocarina like, of Time. I've, like those are the big yeah, ones that everybody doing, loves. But yeah. like a Link to the Past, that Zelda, I beat. I beat that Zelda on my old Super NES. That was like one of the first games I owned. I beat that game like god like 20 or 25 times i like <laughs> knew where to go and do everything without looking at everything and i had i and i think actually i had up until like within just the last couple of years i had the old strategy guide that i had bought it was like 20 bucks i used to, like, i miss the days of the strategy guides dude i miss um, it i used to but buy I, them all I used the time. to have one i had it for like god 20 even long after i didn't even have the games anymore i had one like 20 25 i had a huge stack like this high of strategy guides that I got rid of most of them when I moved most recently, but I had like Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, the original oh, one, the strategy man. guide. Yeah, that's that that's really crazy. cool, dude. Like I, I I miss the days of the strategy guides, like I said. But yeah, that's really cool. It's cool to see from present toys. Another thing, hmm. where my Resident oh, Evil Wesker. fans, yeah, they're doing an Albert Wesker present toys, doing an Albert Wesker. I'm not a huge fan of that like snarling sculpt, but the glasses mm. look. Come on now, um, this, this is really is, cool. I'm, Unfortunately, I look at this and I just can't get that awful scene from Resident Evil Afterlife where they were trying to copy the look and stuff for Wesker with his glasses and all that yeah. stuff. While he, so and I was just like, like, uh, it's just like kind of, yeah, it's got like a pattern to it. It's like not faux so carbon fiber. Yeah. Didn't Hot Toys do one like long time ago? Long Wesker? time. Yeah, they had the one with the like the shirtless look with the tentacle arm thing. Yeah, they did that a from long like time more ago. Final Battle. Yeah, mm-hmm. but this I don't is think really I can. Cool. I don't think I can go down this path, man. I'm already getting too much. Like, I feel like if I start getting into the video game. See, I'm already down the video game path. (laughs) I've got Claire Redfield. I've got the... the, Do you own both different versions? No, I have the remake ones. I much prefer the remake look. So I've got the remake uh, Claire Redfield. I've got the remake uh, remake Leon Kennedy. My Ada Wong just shipped finally because I got a waitlist conversion on her because she sold out very quickly, like unexpectedly. So um, I, I got a ton of nostalgia for 
playing the Resident Evil games. Me too. And so I, I think Resident that Evil. I I think that I think you're about to see a big wave of like Nintendo figures. You know, they're building like those Nintendo lands at Universal and stuff. I, I think you're that's the next wave of like nostalgic purchase. Yeah, like, well, like you know, um, the third party company did the they, they called it the Chainsaw Man. They they did the uh, what was that guy's name? Salvador from Resident Evil Four with the chainsaw. I think that's his name. Is that his name Salvador? I can't. I can't remember. I just yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, and if they did a Nemesis, I mean, like the, the for the remake of three, they did Prime One did that big Nemesis statue. I would love a Nemesis. Doctor Salvador, that's like, his name. I just checked. Like a Nemesis or something like that, dude. They, like, cool I think, figure. some company did a Nemesis, and it's it sells for a crap ton of money. And then also, I wanted a Tyrant figure, and one tyrant company really did a, a third party Tyrant figure, and it was really like. Ugh. Like the back of the head completely came off for the batteries, and there's this nasty seam on the side of the head. It just didn't look good. I, I just sucks. want an ink. I just want an ink ribbon uh, accessory, man, to to, to yeah. save the game. And like that's That'd yeah, cool. so you can just save your pose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they included a lot of cool stuff. You got like all the keys and everything. The um, all the different potions. Like the damn toys figures are very nice, and they come with a ton of stuff. I man, if they did like a know. classic Claire Redfield from like the first game, and like you could have Tyrone background that's like. The vine covered room for the giant plant monster and stuff for the yeah, first resident evil and stuff that would be cool i still think one of the most hilarious things i ever remember doing is when i found out like you could drain all the water out of the room that had like, the mutant great white shark just like somehow oh, yeah. swimming around <laughs> yeah. the things that you would drain it and then it's just plopping on the ground dying or well, I, I think you know it's undead, so I can't. I went back and started playing like around. through the originals, like on the hardest difficulty. The first one is so hard on the hardest difficulty; it's it's very very challenging. Um, but yeah, love love Resident Evil. Damn Toys said they're doing next. They're doing a Resident Evil Four line, so we'll get like that that brown leather jacket, Leon. Justin's like, damn it. Maybe, maybe we can jump. I know, dude. Get- <laughs> Maybe we can get like night covered armor. Actually. Some liquors, maybe that'd be cool. I don't know. Yeah. Throw... Who, who cool has be... the? Do y'all know who has like the official license for those? Uh, like Resident damn, Evil. Damn, damn toys. It is damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they've done. They only did three figures, unfortunately, for the Resident Evil Two line. They did actually. I'm I'm lying. They Four. did three characters, but they did five total. So they did okay. two Leons, the classic version and the the remake Eight version, Claire. two Claire's and then they did Ada Wong. And I have like I said I have Ada on the way. She actually just shipped yesterday. Um, was it the original? I thought they didn't they do a new and original Ada? They only did one Ada. It's just her in the red dress with like the fish Okay, nets. so the classic one. Yeah, yeah, that's the only one they did, but I'm really excited to check it out. I've heard some mixed reviews on it though. <clears throat> and there's a um that one third party company that 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 did the uh, the 2013 or 2014? I can't remember when that came. The Lara Croft, the newer one, and they they have a Jill Valentine on pre-order as well. They did an Ada that released recently, and everybody was saying pretty good stuff about it. So there's options for Ada at least. Um, finally, though, guys, finally uh, the final topic here. A little little tease from Mars Toys for our number one guy here. We're getting Bob the Goon finally. How many times have we asked for Bob? I was the wondering Goon? who this was for a second. Yep, it's Bob the Goon. So we, you know, I've I've been hoping and praying for this forever. I was like, when are we gonna gonna get Bob the Goon? And it seemed like the perfect figure for Mars to do because it's his style. And here we go, we got Bob the Goon. So it's just a bit of a tease I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, we have Bob the Goon coming. So, uh, yeah, it's really cool. I'm excited. Mars is doing a lot of really cool stuff. Um, but guys, we're uh. Just over two hours here. A lot of great stuff tonight. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with us. If you're still here, please consider dropping a like on the stream. Also, guys, once again, you don't have to, but there is a join button down below to become a channel member. Uh, lots of great perks, and I'm, I'm slowly working on more. Don't you worry for those who are channel members currently. I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, I very much appreciate it. Um, also, guys, we do have a Discord. Which I'm, tr- I'm slowly trying to – it's been a slow process. Discord is a very hard platform to build. There's a link in the description for the Six Scale Scallywags Discord. Head on over there if you're on Discord. And also the Facebook group, guys. We have uh, over 600 members in the Facebook group right now. So it's popping off, and we're really having a lot of fun. And we have a Facebook group chat as well that we talk in all the time. So uh, links are all in the description. Guys, please, it, when you get a chance, uh, head on over to uh, Justin How You Figure's channel. There is a link in the description. I remembered this time, Justin. Uh, there's you, a link in the you. description. We appreciate you for hanging out with us tonight, man. 
it's always great to have you on. And I feel like a lot of these topics tonight very much align with a lot of your interests, which is always great, you know. Or you'll be like Chris, you know, when we're talking about Doom, where he's falling asleep, and we had to wake him up and say, "Hey, what do you think this figure looks looks like, man?" But uh, yeah, no, dude, I appreciate once again, man. As always, uh, I, I really appreciate you having me on. I always love talking with you guys, and it's uh, yeah, dude, it was just a great great week for all kinds of figures, absolutely, and a lot of cool stuff, and, and for film as well, right? Dune too, man. So got yeah, guys, yeah, go see Dune too. Listen to Justin and I go see Dune too if you haven't yeah. already. Got to go see it. Um, and thank you, everybody, in the chat as well for hanging out with us. I very much appreciate it. Uh, guys, my most recent video, uh, I did put up a video on my Toby Spider-Man. I, I put some information in there about uh, what you could expect if you're, you're going to ask for a replacement sculpt from, from a Sideshow. Because yeah. the, the answer well, is you're it, not going to get one. At least it, based well, on the interesting time. thing is I know someone posted up they got the regular edition of Toby just in, and it had the updated it's been very hit or miss like first yeah. it, everybody was like oh if you got the deluxe you're getting the 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 sculpt from the um the second batch nope i got the deluxe special edition i didn't get it and justin thank you so much my friend justin you're too kind you guys have been too too kind tonight and yomo once again i appreciate you justin thank you so much my friend you yeah absolutely man you're, you're too kind yomo, but, thanks a lot but yes uh mm -hmm. everybody in the chat thank you so much for hanging out with us each and every one of you we appreciate you um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And also, when you get a chance, this man over here, his video is killing it right there. This guy here, uh, he did a video on the Kenobi Vader. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check that out. Uh, yes, I think he did an awesome job. Uh, he definitely uh, did a great job at showcasing it. And then uh, I guess Padme will be next. Yes, she will. And uh, guys, I, I'm probably still going to do a, a video on the Batman just because I love that figure so much. I don't know how many people will watch it. It came out um, really good. Yeah, Padme's awesome, guys. If you haven't got yeah, your Padme good. yet, she she's fantastic. The sculpt is really, really great in person. So yeah, just unboxed her yesterday. Came out yeah, really she, nice. She's awesome. So I didn't even get to say it last week because I were you not streaming or I wasn't here. It was no, we didn't. Before. We didn't go live last week. It's been either one or two, but I got monetized since then. So. Yeah, and Chris is officially monetized. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's All making right, that guys. making that YouTube congrats. money. Congratulations, man. So yeah, congrats, Chris. Uh, wait, 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 it's not wait, really wait. YouTube money. <laughs> wait, but, uh, wait for the wait for those millions start rolling in, man. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to get all that stuff set you up. Know it. That's that passive income. Have, right. I think I only have super chat set up, but like I don't stream. But you can still comment it, which is weird. Like I don't know who would comment money, but it's totally up to people. And then I'm trying to do channel membership as well. I just haven't figured out what the heck I would offer for. A streamless channel so i gotta think of something cool and unique yeah you'll get it all figured out man in time i didn't activate my channel memberships for like a year because i you know i felt like you know should i do it and then you know shout out to steve evil sneaker he's like yeah man you know people that want to support they'll support and i you know I, I understand that but my thing was like trying to give you guys value so i hope those of you who are channel members you appreciate the emojis and stuff i did some custom icons as you you know if, if you continue to subscribe you'll get different colored hot toys hotline icons stuff like that I've I've only been a channel member for about two minutes, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of value. <laughs> He's like, and see, we're talking about the decisions. Billy Mays earlier. Maybe Justin is like Billy Mays, not me. He's already selling it for me. But, uh, <laughs> once again, guys, thank you so much, everybody. We very much appreciate you. If I don't talk to you, if you're not in any of the uh, different social media platforms that we have, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and a great weekend. Uh, you know, St. Patty's Day is coming up. I'm sure everybody's going to be out having fun, doing something fun for that. So, yep. uh, but yeah, drop a like on your way out, guys. We very much appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. And everyone. go see Dune 2. If you haven't seen Dune 1, see that first and then see Dune 2. I highly recommend in the IMAX if you can. Yeah. Uh, but take and care, everybody. Remember, make bad choices.